Boom, 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 I don't know about you guys, I feel good. We about to blow the, the San Antonio Spurs out today. Wemby who? Rookie of the year who? I mean, we got an MVP level player in our team in Jalen Brunson. I'm not worried about them. Now I'm going to take them seriously because when Benyama's that good, they've been playing a lot better since the All-Star break. I know what their record is, 17 and 50, whatever. They're not a good basketball team overall, but they could still every now and again pull out a couple impressive victories. They beat the Phoenix Suns. Uh, they got a couple of nice wins under their belt, but again, 17 wins is nothing is nothing to write home about. We're not worried about them, but on the other side, this is not Toronto. This is not Detroit. This is a better team than that. Slightly, but still better. So you got to come out and handle your business. But I'm feeling good. I'm coming. We got our boy Mitchell Robinson back. Made his made his long-awaited return the other night against the Toronto Raptors. And what ended up being an absolute shellacking. Ended up beating the Toronto Raptors by 40-plus points. Tonight, I don't think they're going to beat them by 40. But I don't think 20-25 is out of, the, out of the, the range of possibilities either. 
right? So I don't know about you guys. I'm coming in feeling excellent tonight, right? I, I'm so unbothered, unconcerned about tonight's game that I took a nice long nap, overslept just a bit. I just got up, had me a coffee, so I had to get the, the caffeine running and going so I can bring the energy for you guys tonight. But let me tell you something. Right here, right now, the Knicks are going to continue their winning streak. What did they win? Three, four in a row? Hold on. Let me check right now. One, two, three. Three in a row. They lost the Denver Nuggets. They're winners of eight of their last nine. Goes uh, Dates all the way back to the Philly game where uh, OG and Obi made his return. So they beat Philly. They beat Portland. Uh, beat Sacramento. Beat Golden State. Ended up losing to Denver. Uh, beat Brooklyn, beat Detroit, beat Toronto, <clears throat> winners of seven of their last eight, trying to make it eight of their last nine here tonight, going up against the San Antonio Spurs all the way out there in Texas. We are all the way out there in Texas, a little bit late <clears throat> in terms of what their usual start time is tonight, eight o'clock Eastern. Here we go, right? We're lined up. We're out here in Texas. We're going to handle business. Uh, and then once we win tonight, we're going to go back home, end the month on a strong note, a strong note against a really good Oklahoma City Thunder team. And then we're off to April. Playoff month, right? We got a, two weeks to go in April before the end of the regular season. <clears throat> and then it's playoff time. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to go. Even tonight. Even tonight. The San Antonio Spurs, they got nobody to guard Jalen Brunson. Who are you going to put on him? Trey Jones? Jeremy Sohan? It doesn't matter. He's getting buckets. Right, we're not worried about Victor Wembanyama down there in the paint protecting the basket because we know Jalen Brunson he's gonna hit you with the little lean in, little step back, little fader, little ten foot fader. Wemby gonna be standing all the way down there trying to protect the basket. Brunson gonna be over here knocking down mid range jumper after mid range jumper because that's what he does. You know, we're not concerned about you. Even if we want to get a little bit closer, we're not knocking down that little floater over you. So we're not worried about it. We're not worried about it. <clears throat> and then obviously we got Mitchell Robinson. And Isaiah Harnstein to deal with Big Wemby down low, right? He gonna need to to eat a couple more steaks, put a couple of more more uh, pounds on that frame he got. A little too skinny, a little too light on his feet for our big boys down low. We'll see how tonight works out. The last time they matched up, it was not pretty. Mitchell Robinson dam dominated that, and then after Mitchell Robinson went to the bench, they brought get they brought in Big Isaiah Harnstein, <clears throat> and then he got physical with them too, and they had no answers for either of them. So I'm looking for something. Somewhat similar tonight, right? The physicality has not changed. But like I said, don't underestimate your opponent tonight. The San Antonio Spurs is playing a lot better since the All-Star break. They've come out. They got the defense together. They're, they're getting a lot healthier. They're playing on a string. They, they strung together some impressive performances, even though uh, a lot of them haven't ended in wins. Got to stay on your feet tonight. Got to stay on your toes. Don't get caught lacking just because you had a couple blowout wins in a row. Come out handle business the way you have been handling business. And we all going to get out of here tonight with a big old win. Here we go. How are we feeling tonight, everybody? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Stealth Genetics was popping my guy. Marley. What's up, Marley? <clears throat> Kenny Big Task. Uh, Mark Cap Top Not Decade. Love to see everybody in the chat. Omar Daniel Berry. Jose. What's up, Jose? C. Tyler, of course. Yvette Rishi Rich. Nostalgic Nick. What's popping, everybody? Here we go. Here we go. The Spurs are starting. Wembenyama, of course. Sohan, Julian Champagny, Devin Vassell, and Trey Jones. The usual starting lineup for them. And then they're rocking their usual starting lineup. Uh, Miles McBride in at the two guard alongside Brunson with DiVincenzo, Josh Hart, and Isaiah Hornstein. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Stove Jenny said they're too soft in Texas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. Jose said too many games on today. Oh, by the way, by the way, the Knicks are only one and a half games out of that two seed. Now, Milwaukee does not play tonight. So if the Knicks win tonight, there will be one game out of the two seed. And Milwaukee playing tomorrow. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We got a big game against OKC coming up, but we got to handle business tonight first. Here we go. Getting ready for the tip off. And Wemby wins it. And Trey Jones will bring it down. Here we go, people. Trey Jones has it up top. Over to Sohan. Over to Vassell being guarded by McBride to start. Out to Trey Jones up top. They're not worried about a perimeter shooting going under these screens. Trey Jones in the corner. Champagne for three. Right corner three. Gets it to go early. <clears throat> Spurs coming out ready to go. Knocking down their first shot. Generating good open look. Now they'll live with Champagne. Oh, and the Knicks turn it over on the inbounds. Not prepared for the... 
for the Spurs to come out in a full court press. They're coming out ready to go. They're looking for a win tonight. Knicks got to be ready to match their intensity early. <laughs> now the Knicks will live with Julian Champagny threes all night. But that time he made them pay, knocking it down early. Vassell up top coming to his left off a of Wemby screen. Leaming it in, kicks it out. Wemby puts up the mid-range jumper, gets it to go. Wemby with his first shot. It's five to nothing early. Here we go. Brunson bringing it down for their first possession. I love pie. What's popping, big dog? Steven Chinzo up top being guarded by Trey Jones. Over to Harnstein. They do have Sohan on Brunson early. And an offensive foul on Harnstein going back to the Spurs. A couple of sloppy, sloppy plays from the Knicks to start. A couple of early turnovers. So the Spurs will be bringing it down now. Trey Jones, right side of the court, up top to Wembenyama, coming to his left. Hands it off to Vassell, coming to his right. Pump fake, now puts up the fader over McBride, and he gets it to go. That's a three-for-three three start for the San Antonio Spurs, and they look calm. They look composed. They look ready to go. Knicks got to match them. Have yet to score here. Have yet to get a shot up. <laughs> Josh Hart has it up top, being guarded by Champagny. Over to Harnstein. Harnstein hands it off to Brunson, coming to his right. He's got some free open space. Step back, mid-range jumper off the back rim. Can't get it to go. Champagny comes flying in for the rebound. 10.30 here to go. The Knicks 0 for 1 from the field. They've only taken one shot. When Minyama coming to his right, in the paint, leaves it off for Champagny. Pump fake, kicks it out to Sohan, out of the corner. Over to Wemby, in the high post, foul line. Harnstein guarding him, and they call a travel on Wembenyama. Sliding that pivot just ever so slightly. A little bit of a questionable call, but it is what it is. We'll take it, of course. So the Knicks will bring it down. Josh Hart has it up top. Over to Brunson. Brunson being guarded by Sohan. Champagne switches onto him, coming to his left off the Harnstein screen. Driving it in, throws up the floater, gets it to go. Once he gets to that left hand, you're in trouble. And the Knicks finally get off the schneid, knocking down their first shot of the game. Vassell coming to his right off the handoff from Wemby. Back up top to Wemby. Wemby coming to his right. Puts up the three straight away. Off the back rim. Can't get it to go. Josh Hart with the rebound. He's bringing it down. Under 10 minutes to go. Josh Hart over to Harnstein. Harnstein looking for somebody. Coming back door. He's got nothing. Good denial defense from Trey Jones. Now Harnstein's got to take it right into Wemby. Yama goes right through his chest and they call an offensive foul on Isaiah Harnstein. Wemben Yama drawing the charge, being a little too physical with Wemby. Oh, it's a bit of a flop from Wemby. But Harnstein's just too big, too strong. Muscle with him out of the paint. Wemby gets the call there. Harnstein coming into the game. That's two quick fouls on Harnstein. This is the beauty of having Mitchell Robinson back and healthy, ready to go. <clears throat> Obviously, they're trying to ease him in. Only played 12 minutes the other night. But this is the beauty of having Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Harnstein both able to play. You take one big man out, you bring in another starting caliber center. So Robinson's in now. He has it up top. Wemby attacking. Hands it off to Vassell. Coming to his right. Gets to the mid-range. Pull-up jumper off the front rim. Can't get the nice soft touch. Robinson rips down the rebound. And here comes Jalen Brunson. Brunson has it up top. Coming to his left off the Robinson screen. Over to Josh Hart. Head of steam. Kicks it out. DiVincenzo, right wing three. He's open, and he gets it to go. Dante DiVincenzo, by the way, is now only one three-pointer made away from tying Evan Fournier for the most threes made in a season for the Knicks. Champagne, left wing three. He gets that one to go. They're going to have to get out on this guy because he, he clearly came out ready to play tonight. That's the guy I think the Knicks want taking most of the shots for the Spurs. He's knocked down his first two. Steven Chinzo has it on the right wing, coming to his left off the Robinson screen. Over to McBride. McBride, catch, pump fake, driving to his right in the paint, kicks it out to Brunson, right corner, puts up the three over Sohan. Can't get it to go. Women Yamo with the rebound. He's bringing it down. Over to Champagne. Champagne in the corner. Trey Jones for three. They'll live with him shooting threes, and he continues to make the, the Spurs continue to make the Knicks pay. This time, Trey Jones knocking down that three. 13 5. Brunson bringing it down. Gonna call a timeout. Tom Thibodeau and the Knicks need to talk some things over. Not the greatest of starts defensively. The Spurs have come out red hot, ready to go. Knocking down jumper after jumper. Now, again, this is not a good three-point shooting team at all. One of the worst three-point shooting teams in the league. And so far, they got two threes from Julian Champagne and the three from Trey Jones. Two guys not known for shooting three-point shots. As a matter of fact, they're, they're so well unknown for shooting threes that I'm actually going to go check their percentages because, of course, it would be the night where the Knicks are in town where they get red hot. Tay, what's up, Tay? Uh, D-Raz, what's poppin'? Ty, what's up, Ty? 
Here we go. Here we go. So, uh, overall, the Spurs are three for four from three. Uh, all three of them coming from non-three-point shooters. Trey Jones on the season. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. He's shooting 34% from three. Not horrible, but it's also on low percentage, and it's not a good percentage. <laughs> on low volume, and it's not a good percentage. So, you know, not a good three-point shooter. Uh, Julian Champagny is averaging six points on the season. He already has six points, not getting down two threes. And on the season, he's shooting 36% from three as well uh, on pretty low volume. So, again, not good three-point shooters. Not getting down the first threes of the game for the Spurs. <clears throat> Overall, Wemby so far early here tonight. Rebound, an assist, and a bucket. You know, solid start. Nick's doing a pretty good job. Tay said keep them off that three-point line. I say keep them on that three-point line. They are not a good three-point shooting team. The only guy you really have to contend from three um, consistently is... Uh, who's in the game right now is um, Devin Vassell, who can get red hot from the perimeter. Uh, but he's more of a guy who likes to work himself into the mid-range. But I will live with Trey Jones and Julian Champagne living th shooting threes. I'd rather that than them feeding Wemby or or Sohan attacking the basket or or Devin Vassell getting to his, his mid-range spot. Applesauce lover was popping my guy. Welcome. Alberto uh, Fleischer. What's up, Alberto? Uh, you went for the Spurs? Spurs are an up-and-coming team. They're going to they gonna generate a new, a new, a whole entire younger fan base. <clears throat> you know, the Spurs are on the up-and-up with what could be the next face of the NBA on their team. And Wembenyama. Yvette, what's up, Yvette? Tay said, I want those Toronto rims. <laughs> it would be great. All right, we're back into it after the timeout. Josh Hart on the right wing. Hands it off to DiVincenzo. Pump fakes. Driving to his left. Gets past Trey Jones. Throws up a high floater. Banks it in. Okay, Devo putting it on the floor. They're playing him super tight, not allowing him any airspace to shoot those threes or get those threes off, but... Got to be able to attack after that. Weminyama hands it off to Vassell. Coming to his right. Inside pass to Weminyama. Kicks it out. Champagne. Another three. Off the back rim. Can't get that one to go. Josh Hart with the rebound. Gets a running start. Bringing it down. Weminyama's back. Kicks it out to McBride. McBride coming to his left. Off the Robinson screen. He's got some space in the mid-range. Little floater. Gets it to go. There we go. The Knicks getting into their spots. Knocking down jumpers. Weminyama can't come all the way out in order to contest those. Because then you leave Mitchell Robinson wide open for an offensive rebound. Which you don't want to do. Weminyama has it up top, hands it off to Trey Jones, inside pass to Weminyama, knocked out of bounds by Robinson. Nine, uh, 7.25 to go here in the first quarter, 13-9. to nine. Knicks have seemed to settle down a little bit, especially offensively attacking the basket a little bit more. James Moon, what's up, James? Nostalgic Nick, break the record, Dante. He's definitely going to get it tonight. Off the inbound, um, uh, Vassell, catch and shoot out of the mid-range, can't get it to go. Weminyama, deep logo three, can't get it to go. Josh Hart with the rebound, he's pushing the pace. Getting right past uh, Sohan, attacking the basket, lays it up with the right hand, can't get it to go. Ball uh, tipped out by Wemby. Here come the Spurs, they got the number advantage. They throw the lob to Sohan, who throws it down with two hands. Got to be able to finish that one, Josh. Got to be able to finish that one. Allow the Spurs to get on transition and run. Brunson has it up top, coming to his left off the Robinson screen, coming to his left in the paint, throws up the floater, bounces on the rim, can't get it to go down. Robinson fighting for it, tipping it up, tipping it up, and Weminyama wins out for the rebound. He's bringing it down, pushing the pace, hits it in the corner. Vassell open for three, gets it to go, and the Spurs are off and running, man. They're feeling good. <clears throat> they're shooting it well, and you can tell they're feeling it. Josh Hart, bad pass, but... Able to find its way out to DiVincenzo. Brunson wide open for a three. He can't get it to go down. So the Spurs come out shooting very, very well from the perimeter. And the Knicks, ice cold so far. Only getting one from DiVincenzo earlier in the game. Wembenyama goes to the bench. 
<clears throat> shaken up just a bit, but he seems all right, holding his, his leg and his knee a little bit. Vassell in the left wing, attacking McBride off the dribble. Out to Zach Collins, hands it off to Trey Jones, coming to his left, and a moving screen on Zach Collins. He gets Brunson. We've, it's been a while since we've seen one of those, but offensive foul on Zach Collins. Wembenyama's still rubbing that knee. Still bothering him. Ty, what's up, Ty? It's on tonight. Yes, sir. This is a good game. This is a good game. It's been a while since the Knicks have been in a good, tight, close game. Happy to see one here tonight so far, at least so far. Brunson inside, puts up the floater over Sohan, gets it to go. And now Webinyama is going to go back to the locker room. It's not great. It's not a great sign for the Spurs. 18-11 uh, to 11 now. Backdoor pass to Vassell, who goes up, double clutches, and gets it to go on the contest from McBride and Brunson. Both of those guys, just a little too small to contest Vassell at the basket. Steven Chinzo has it up top over to Brunson. Brunson on the right wing. Coming to his left off the Robinson screen, getting downhill. Puts up another floater, gets another one to go. They're not coming out. They're not uh, blitzing or hedging on the screens <clears throat> at all. And Brunson making them in pay so far, knocking down floater after floater after floater. Ooh. Victor Wembenyama. Uh, the play they just showed where he got injured in. Um, <clears throat> after the transition three, uh, Wembenyama turned to run back and ended up running right into Sohan. And that's where he tripped and fell. Holding his knee now, going back to the locker room. Never want to see injuries. Doesn't seem too, too bad. I mean, he, he fine, limped off a little bit, was just rubbing it. Maybe just sore, just a little contusion. Should be fine, should be fine. Yeah, I said, Knicks need to go to the mid-range more. Yeah, they, they found success getting to the floater between uh, DiVincenzo, McBride, and Brunson time and time again getting to that floater range. They're not going to be able to get all the way to the basket with Wembenyama in the game. They should have a lot, uh, they should be able to do that much more easier now with, um, with, with Wemby out and Zach Collins in, who's not much of a rim protector. Uh, James Sumler with a very generous super chat. Appreciate you, my guy, James. Uh, slow start, but I know they're going to talk us up uh, a win. I know you're going to talk us up a win. Uh, yeah, look, slow start for the Knicks. Very hot perimeter shooting start for the Spurs. Thank you, James, by the way. Thank you. Very generous, my guy. Appreciate you. Um, slow start from the Knicks. Very hot perimeter shooting start for the Spurs, which is not typically their game. They're not a good three-point shooting team so far this season, but tonight, defying that so far, um, and getting a lot of three-point shots to go down from non-three-point shooters. So Tom Thibodeau is really good at not um, over overcorrecting with his game plan. The Spurs will continue to generate like open looks for guys like Trey Jones and Julian Champagny because the Knicks don't believe that those guys are going to knock down multiple threes, three, four, five threes here tonight, you know. The Knicks do a really good job of giving, if, the, if they have to give an open look, they're going to give an open look to a guy who's not a good three-point shooter. Um, so we always, you know, I always like to say, I know we always like to say, uh, the first quarter is the feel-out quarter, and it's 20 to 13 for a slow start for the Knicks and a hot start for the Spurs. So things will calm down, pace will slow a bit, defenses will get settled, they'll, they'll figure out uh, how they want to play the Spurs, considering the way they came out. You got to remember, it's a West Coast team. The Knicks, you know, the last time they saw them was very early in the season, remember? Uh, which, you know, at this point, uh, if you've been watching the Spurs, feels like a completely different Spurs team. So just figuring some things out as we get further into the game. Appreciate you, James Sumler. Very generous so far, my guy. Thank you. Nostalgic Nick, appreciate you, my guy, appreciate you. All right, we're back in after that timeout. Here we go. 20 to 13, about five minutes to go, a little over five minutes. <clears throat> and it is Clyde Frazier's birthday, by the way. Vassell has it up top, attacking to his left, little fade away over McBride, can't get it to go, fight for the rebound. Robinson rips it away from Zach Collins. I missed those rebounds from our guy, Mitch. Brunson bringing it down, coming to his left. Big screen from Robinson, getting to the paint. Throws the lob to Mitchell Robinson. We missed the Gotham lob from Big Mitch. We missed it. And it's back to a five-point game, 20-15. to 
Blake Wesley bringing it down for the Spurs. Who's checked in for Trey Jones. Sohan kicks it out to Collins. Collins backdoor pass to Keldon Johnson. Kicks it in the corner to Vassell. Gets an open three. Can't get it to go. Brunson keeping the rebound alive. And Mitchell Robinson rips it down. Here comes Josh Hart pushing the other way. Over to DiVincenzo. Puts up the three. No hesitation. And he gets it to go. Dante DiVincenzo with the three. Sohan bringing it down. Trying to push the pace a little bit. And he slips and falls. DiVincenzo falls right on top of it. And it's a jump ball between DiVincenzo and Sohan. DiVincenzo, move, um, Sohan moving a little too quickly there for himself. <clears throat> Wembenyama out of the game. And the Spurs kind of falling apart a little bit. But also the three-point shooting slowing down. They've, you know, The Spurs have gotten a couple of good looks from three. But like I said, they're not a good three-point shooting team. And they're not falling now. With that three-pointer, by the way, Dante DiVincenzo is officially tied Evan Fournier for the most threes made in a season in Knicks history. Uh, no doubt he will end up breaking it most likely tonight, hopefully tonight. Keldon Johnson driving it in on pressure. The Chua, who's just checked in, and he, Keldon Johnson gets it to go. He's been playing a lot better after a really slow start this season. 18-22, to four-point game under four minutes to go. Brunson has it up top, being guarded by Wesley. Coming to his left off the Robinson screen. Getting downhill, gets to the foul line, got some space, puts up the floater, gets it to go, and one. Foul by Blake Wesley. You can't get on Brunson's hip. Once you're on Brunson's hip, you're done. You're done. Don't get your hand stuck in the cookie jar. He will get fouled, and he will convert the shot anyway. Don't give him the three-point play opportunity. You're better off just giving him the floater. <laughs> Brunson now going to the free throw line for one more. MVP chance out here all the way in Texas. And the Spurs, uh, the Spurs fans in the building respond back with boos. Brunson does convert the three-point plays up to nine points already. He's already taken eight shots. But the Spurs are guarding him one-on-one, -on -one, allowing him to take advantage. Zach Collins has it up top. Hands it off to Vassell coming to his right, driving it down, kicks it in the corner. Keldon Johnson for three out of the corner, gets it to go. The Spurs knocking down threes, making the Knicks pay. We'll see if their game plan works out as the game goes on. Steven Chinzo has it up top. Over to Brunson on the right wing. Brunson coming to his left off the Robinson screen. In and out dribble, throws up another, another lob. It looked like it might have been a floater, but it was a lob to our guy Mitchell Robinson. <clears throat> Keldon Johnson over to Blake Wesley. Coming to his left off the Zach Collins screen. Gets into the mid-range. He picks up a foul on Brunson on the same play. But unlike Brunson, he can't pick up the... The shot. So Blake Wesley will go to the foul line for two free throws. MBM. What's up, MBM? Marley said Brunson owns the paint. I mean, for a guy his size to be as dominant as he, as he is inside of the paint is ridiculous. He's, he's amongst the league leaders in paint points per game. It's insane, actually. Harnstein checking back in after picking up those two early fouls for Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, I said Mitch setting screens every half-court possession. <laughs> That's how you want to use Mitch. That's how you want to use him. The thing with Mitchell Robinson is the screen's got to be solid. Not always the greatest of screeners, but so far this season he's been significantly better. Um. <clears throat> Blake Wesley knocks down both free throws, by the way. Harnstein in the paint, throws up a lefty floater. Can't get it to go. Good contest from Zach Collins, who picks up the rebound. And here comes Jetty Osmond, right side of the court, up top to Collins. Collins kicks it out to uh, Johnson, driving to his left. Goes right at pressure to Chua, puts up the layup, and gets it to go. Strong drive from Keldon Johnson. It was pretty good defense from pressure to Chua. Keldon Johnson, just a better offensive move right there. He's got seven points already off the bench as Wemby makes his way back to the to the bench for the Spurs. McBride steps behind the Harnstein three, uh, screen for three. Can't get it to go. Long rebound out to Blake Wesley. Hits Jetty Osman coming down the lane, who lays it up and in. And the Spurs are kind of running the Knicks out of the building right now. It's up to an eight-point game, 31-23. to 23, And the Knicks and Tom Thibodeau have to talk a couple of things over yet again. That's two timeouts here in the first quarter from the Knicks, where the Spurs are getting down and running. Right? You thought, okay, the Knicks settled down a little bit. They're back into this one. Let's see how it goes from there. And the Spurs quickly build another eight-point lead. 
<clears throat> Precious Chua has his hands full right now with Keldon Johnson with seven quick points off the bench. Knocked down to three, getting to the basket twice. Precious got locked down on defense a little bit. Finally get Hornstein back into the game after picking up two quick early fouls. We've got to get him reintegrated into the lineup. Bogdanovich has just checked in. Uh, Isaiah Gardner, what's up, Isaiah? Uh, it's what I've been saying. Mitch does not set, um, is not, <clears throat> Mitch doesn't set good screens like that. Um, he's been significantly better this season. He's been a, he's been a legit good screen setter this season, uh, to start the year. Uh, throughout his career, he, he, he has not been a good screen setter. One of the things he de desperately needed to improve. Um, he's been a way better screen setter this year. He's been like legit good. Harnstein's still a better screen setter, which is why I think he and Brunson have developed this chemistry where they play really well off of each other. But um, Mitchell Robinson has been much improved. And he's, you know, this game he's been really good at setting screens. He's gotten open for a bunch of lobs. He's gotten Brunson open for a bunch of uh, floaters. He's been solid. He's been solid. Uh, Tay said, uh, defend these three pointers. They must have watched the last two games and got inspired. <laughs> I don't think he got to overreact just yet. Just yet. But the Spurs are knocking down threes. All right, DiVincenzo has it up top. Stepping back, putting up a left wing three. Can't get that one to go. Fight for the rebound. Keldon Johnson rips it down. He's bringing it down. Pachu was going to pick him up. Hit a head pass to um, Vassell. Driving it down. Kicks it out. Keldon Johnson left wing three. And he gets that one to go. Keldon Johnson off the bench. Four for four. Lighting it up right now as the Spurs take a double-digit lead, 23-34. to 34. Deuce McBride bringing it down, coming to his left, over to Wachua, hands it off to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich in the Harnstein, hands it off. McBride gets caught in the air, saves it off to Harnstein, back to McBride, back to Harnstein, almost turns it over. Steven Chenzo picks it up, over to Bogdanovich, he's driving it down. Stepping back, bullet pass, knocked away, terrible decision Bogdanovich, bad play from the Knicks, and the Spurs get out and running, and Blake Wesley gets an easy layup in transition. The Knicks just kind of all over the place. The Spurs turning them over. Their defense has been much, much improved after the All-Star break. McBride bringing it down. No Brunson, so they need somebody to, to get creative with the ball in their hands. Steven Chindo fires again from three, can't get it to go. Long rebound finds its way out to Vassell. He's bringing it down. Right side of the court. Vassell going to pull it back out, set something up, crossing over to his right in the paint, kicks it out to Osmond. Osmond has it up top. Hands it off to Keldon Johnson, coming to his left. In and out dribble, coming, kicks it out to Vassell. Vassell has it up top, shot clock winding down, driving to his right. He's got some space, kicks it out. Jetty Osmond, catch and shoot right wing three, comes up well short. Steven Chenzo with the rebound, hit ahead past the Harnstein. One dribble, goes up, throws it down with two hands. There you go. Makes get down, get an easy one there. Should be the final shot of the quarter here. Uh, Keldon Johnson walking it down slowly. Has it up top, under 20 seconds to go. Keldon Johnson now attacking Achua off the dribble. Coming to his right. Euro step, scoop layup. Can't get it to go, but a foul on Precious Achua. Keldon Johnson is just eating him up. He is just eating Precious Achua up. He's got no answer so far. Has not been able to stop him. Can't keep him out of the paint. <clears throat> ja, what's up, Ja? Popping my guy. MBM said we will walk him down in the end. It's the first quarter. It's a field out quarter, but allowing so far 37 points and um, one more free throw coming for Keldon Johnson so far here in the in the first quarter is not good defense for the Knicks. You always got to be weary with the team coming off a couple of blowouts, and you go into a, a good close competitive game. You know, you, f you forget what the intensity is like when you actually play a good team. So the Knicks got to wake up here in the, the next three quarters. Brunson's back in. There's eight seconds to go. They get it into Bogdanovich. Over to Brunson. He's bringing it down. He's got some space going all the way. And Keldon Johnson takes the foul early. Five seconds to go. 5.2 remaining. Side out of bounds at the half court line. The sideline. 38 to 25. Keldon Johnson did knock down that next free throw. 13-point game. Corey Scott, what's up, Corey? 
They get it into Brunson, fakes the handoff. Brunson has it, driving it down on Blake Wesley. Stops, turns, fires in the paint, gets it to go as the buzzer expires. And that will cut it to an 11-point game. So the Knicks end the first quarter, down 11 points, 38-27. to 27. After the first quarter, you know what the Knicks need to improve on. Um, you'll probably expect the Spurs to, to cool off a little bit from the three-point line. But they got to do a better job of contesting them, even if they're not the best shooters. Trey Jones and um, Julian Champagne got them started early. Now, I'll live with those guys shooting threes, but Kelvin Johnson, who hasn't had a great season so far, playing a lot better after the All-Star break, um, he came out like a, like a man on fire, like he had a matchup advantage. Precious Jewel had no answers for him. Um, now, that should be a matchup that Precious Jewel should be able to handle, but Kelvin Johnson so far, eating him up, taking his lunch money. <laughs> so we're going to need to play much better defense. Right, 27 first quarter points, not bad for the Knicks. Allowing the Spurs to score 38 in the first quarter, horrible, horrible defense. Almost a 40 point, uh, 40 point quarter for the Spurs, who, you know, after the All-Star break, I've been saying they've been a much, much improved team, mostly on the defensive side. They're still not a good offensive team, and yet, here they are putting up almost 40 points in the first quarter. So the Knicks got to wake up defensively, right? The Knicks have been themselves one of the better defensive teams in uh, post All Star break, so here the, here they are tonight getting tested by the Spurs team, who've come out wanting to send a message, wanting to send a bit of a message. <clears throat> they've they've been playing very very well. Uh, the Knicks come in as one of the more hotter teams in the NBA. Obviously, the Rockets are the hottest team in the NBA right now, but the Knicks playing very well. Winners of seven of their last eight. They've been on a roll. They won their last game by forty. Um, so the Spurs wanted to come out, make a statement like, hey, you know, come next season, we're going to be a problem. So the Knicks got to wake up a little bit because they got a game on their hands. They got a game on their hands. Corey Scott said, we need this one. We need all of them at this point. The Knicks, one and a half games out of the two seed. Milwaukee lost the other day. Uh, obviously, the Knicks have been on a bit of a heater. Uh, recently surpassing Cleveland for that three seed. They are in sole possession of the three seed. Uh, Cleveland is playing tonight. We will keep an eye on that score. That is really the only team uh, that is hovering around the Knicks that is playing tonight. Uh, the three teams we're looking out for is Milwaukee, Cleveland, and Orlando. Uh, Orlando and Milwaukee not playing tonight. So we will be keeping an eye on that. Uh, actually, Orlando is playing. They're playing the Clippers tonight. That is a close game. That is a two-point game. Uh, the Clippers have been struggling, so I'm not too... Uh, I don't think they will... Uh, they're going to help us out tonight. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on that Cleveland game. All right, start of the second quarter. Uh, the Knicks come out with McBride, Achua, Bogdanovich, Harnstein, and DiVincenzo. Bogdanovich, mid-range jumper, can't get it to go. Here comes Keldon Johnson. Over to Osmond, driving it in. Looked like it got blocked, got bumped, didn't matter, no whistle, still converted the layup, and the Spurs are out running. McBride on the right wing, pocket pass to Harnstein, attacking Wemby off the bounce, in the paint, leans in, puts up the lefty shot, gets blocked by Wemby, and Wemby bringing it down after the block shot. Has it up top, Achu is going to pick him up, Wemby attacking, getting to his left hand, scoop layup, Ooh, gets it in, under pressure's Achua, and the Spurs up by 15 right now. <clears throat> running the Knicks out of the building. McBride has it up top. Over to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich being guarded by Osmond coming to his left. He's got a little bit of space. Stops, pump fakes. Cross court pass to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo crosses over to his left. Gets to the mid-range. Leaves it off for Harnstein. Little flip shot in the paint. Off the back rim. Can't get it to go. Wembenyama with the rebound. He's bringing it down. Wembenyama putting the dribble moves on Harnstein. Harnstein gives him space. Wemby steps back for three. Air balls it. Loose ball. Keldon Johnson out hustles the Knicks to it. The Spurs swinging it around. And Malachi Branham in the game driving it in and gets fouled by McBride. Precious Achua with the flyby defense not going to be good enough. It's not been a good stint for Precious Achua here in this game. Knicks fan. What's up, Knicks fan? 3, uh, 3GP Garage was popping, my guy. Cleveland 54, 76, 53. So that's a close game. Philly against Cleveland. We'll keep an eye on that one as that progresses. Uh, we'll see the end of that one during this Knicks game. We'll also see the ending of 
Shake Milton getting first half minutes here, everybody. This is not an alert. This is not an alert. We're getting Shake Milton minutes. <laughs> We've all been asking for it. What does Shake Milton got? Why do we sign him? Here he is. Let's see. Let's see. Steven Chenzo with the rebound after the missed free throw. He splits a pair, goes one for two, Malachi Branham does. Achua up top, hands it off to Bogdanovich, into Harnstein. Harnstein hands it off to Shake Millen, coming to his left off the handoff, leaves it off. Bogdanovich, left wing, pump fake, driving it in, step back, mid range, fade away, gets it to go. Tough shot from Bogey, we needed it. Hit a head pass to Wemen Yamu, just catches and throws it down with two hands. The Knicks not getting back on defense. The Spurs, I've been saying it, running the Knicks out of the building. MBM, never late, always welcomed. Absolutely, MBM. I love it. I love it. You guys are never late. Appreciate you guys getting here when you can. Shake Millen up top, driving to his right, leaning in, out to Harnstein. Harnstein attacking Weminyama, picks his dribble up. He's got to get it over to somebody. Leans in. Harnstein throws it up off glass, can't get it to go. Weminyama tips it out to the Spurs, and Spurs are running yet again. Osman on the right wing. Inside pass to Wemby. He's got pressure to chew on him. Hands it off to Osman, driving to his right. Cross-court pass. They swing it around. Keldon Johnson, left wing three, wide open. Can't get it to go. Shake Millen with the rebound. He's going to bring it down. 45 to 29, 9.30 to go here in the second quarter. Shake Millen has it up top, dancing around the Harnstein screen. Gets to the mid-range, a little one-legged floater. Can't get it to go. Webinyama with the rebound. It's not really what you want to see, Shake. You got caught between a jumper and a floater. Got to be more decisive than that. Webinyama on the right wing. Bounce pass inside the brand and who catches and lays it up and in. Bad defense from Bogdanovich. Beautiful pass from Wemby. And it's now an 18-point game. Knicks got to wake up. Shake Millen has it up top. <laughs> Arnstein over to Bogdanovich. Right wing three. Comes up short. Weminyama, another rebound. He's bringing it down. Putting his head down. Driving it in. Tries to put the dribble moves on. Bogdanovich dies for it. Wemby picks it back up. Beautiful bounce pass to Branham. Wide open in the corner for three. And he splashes it. And it is ballooned to a 21-point game. 50 to 29, 12 to 2 run. 8 28 to go in the second quarter. Wembenyama dominating the game right now. Cap Top Nas said youth and confidence with the Spurs need some veteran guile from the Knicks. Spurs. Absolutely dominating right now. Absolutely dominating right now. <laughs> Mark said, bruh, they're running the floor. Out hustling the Knicks at every opportunity they can so far. Mark said, get out, shake, we're done. <laughs> oh, it took that quickly for people to be like, all right, get Shake Moon out of here. <laughs> Uh, very interesting that Tom Thibodeau actually trusted him in that, that situation. I don't know if we see Shake again. I don't know. Tay said, are we going to play defense today? Come on, team. Uh, that's absolutely what's been killing them. The Spurs, 50 points already with eight and a half to go here in the second quarter. 50. Terrible defense from the Knicks. Um, now, they're really struggling to generate offense without Jalen Brunson in the game, but terrible, terrible defense from the Knicks so far. The Spurs making them look silly. Silly out there. Marley said, put Mitch and JB in there, please. <laughs> um, you know, Mitch definitely affected the game, definitely helped their defense. Um, Hardstein struggling a little bit offensively. Uh, he's been very good offensively lately, really struggling against Wimbenyama so far. Um, but 21-point <laughs> deficit is nothing to sneeze at the Knicks. Gonna need to string together a couple of stops and scores, right? Basketball can be also simple. That's my that's my professional analysis. They gotta start playing some defense and actually start scoring the ball <laughs> in order to get back into this one. Um, they're not generating good looks. The Spurs are locking down on defense. Without Jalen Brunson, they have no. They really don't have any options to go to. Uh, usually, they can play out of Hardenstein. Um, even Chinzo can, can open up some space for them. Josh Hart. Uh, Tom Thibodeau actually substituting guys in and out, right? McBride is yet to sub out, but he's taking Josh Hart out. Brunson came out after the um, in the second with, with two minutes in the first to go. 
So we'll see how, how liberally Tom Thibodeau substitutes in this game here tonight. Maybe saving his guys for the second half. I, I don't know. Um, now, this is a typical substitution, but it's not something we're used to seeing from Tom Thibodeau. We'll see how he, how he uh, responds here with the Spurs going on a big run, 12-2 run that, that gives them a 21-point lead. Now, 21 points, eight minutes to go in the second quarter. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, Knicks are going to be able to come back if they start playing better. But you don't like where the defense is right now. That's for sure. Brunson's back in. He's going to be bringing it down. The Knicks have Brunson, Achua, Harnstein, Bogdanovich, and Shake Milton still in the game. Brunson dribble up three. Can't get it to go. Spurs with the rebound. One and done for the Knicks. Not getting anything on the offensive glass. Branham on the left wing, up top to Osmond, over to Wemby. Wemby hands it off to Trey Jones, over to Osmond, putting his head down, driving it in on Achua, gets absolutely swat swatted by Achua. Milton with the rebound, they swing it around. Bogdanovich, left wing three in transition, off the back rim, fight for the rebound, Shake Milton. Knocked out of bounds by the Spurs, can't get to it, but lets it go that goes out of bounds. Under eight minutes to go. Mark said, got to chip away at this quick, absolutely. Got to shrink together a couple of, couple of stops here and get back into this one. Make the Spurs sweat a little bit. Brunson driving it in on Tohan. Stops, turns, pump fakes, pivots. Hits Shake Milton. Come back. Thorny lays it up and in. Good cut from Shake Milton. <clears throat> Freeing up Brunson, who's in a little bit of trouble. Sohan on the left wing. Attacking to his right. Getting downhill. Stops, turns, th flips it up with the left hand. Can't get it to go. Harnstein keeps the rebound away. Bogdanovich with the rebound, bringing it down, hands it off to Brunson. Brunson has it up top, in and out dribble, attacking when Minyama gets past him, leaves it off for Achua, Achua, a little flip shot, gets it to go. And quick timeout from the Spurs, Popovich has seen enough. <laughs> he said, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, let, them, don't let them back into this one. <clears throat> Brunson putting his head down, making things happen. Uh, when he came out of the game, they had nothing. They had nothing going for them. Immediately comes into the game. Uh, generates two easy looks for them. Uh, but this will start on the defensive end. This will absolutely start on the defensive end. It does not matter how much the Knicks score at this point. Obviously, they're going to need to score. Don't get me wrong. But 50 points for the Spurs. Uh, we're not even halfway through the second. Is not the defense we are accustomed to seeing at, uh, post our star break for the Knicks. So uh, it's not even the offense you'd be accustomed to seeing from the Spurs. So something's got to give at some point. Either the Knicks defense will be completely, completely um, awful tonight, and the Spurs will run them up, or uh, the Knicks will eventually get comfortable in this game and lock down on defense the way we've seen them do it in the past. They've already cut the lead down to 17, which is good. Got to continue to chip away at it. Uh, exactly what, what Mark said earlier. Got to chip away at it, right? It's not going to come in. They're not going to go on a 21 to nothing run, right? It's not going to happen. But can you get 10 to 2 runs? Get hot, knock down a couple threes, chip away at it, get it closer to 10, a 10-point 10 lead. Because at that point, a 10-point lead is like nothing in the NBA, especially in the first half. So chip away at it. <clears throat> Keep the game close. Spurs wanted a big run to balloon it up to 21. But you can go on a, on a sizable run, cut it down to 13, 14. And then at that point, um, that's when you can, can settle into the game. And, and the defense has to pick up. Absolutely. It's going to start on the defensive end. Marley said, we look old out there. Well, compared to the Spurs, one of the youngest teams in the league, they are old. <clears throat> but the Spurs make a lot of teams look, look old. They're just one of the youngest teams in the league. Uh, but they are, they are a little, little slow-footed tonight. Um, their second game on the road, flying out to Texas. Not the easiest flight, but, I mean, it's only the second game on the road. No excuses. And they had the day off, so. Marley said, yes, shake, don't overthink, just play. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Marley also said, JB making it easier for everyone. I mean, that's what superstars do. That's what superstars do. And yes, I said superstar, and I don't throw that word around lightly. Jalen Brunson's a superstar. Should be in the MVP conversation. The fact that, that ESPN continues to leave him out is absolutely ridiculous. But we're not going to get into that. <laughs> Next fan said, is OG playing versus OKC? I assume that's the plan, but you never know. You never know. OG could wake up, um, they play them on Sunday. OG could wake up on Sunday and say, still doesn't feel good, and be ruled out against uh, the Thunder. But look, since he's been out, he's had, what, a week and a half, almost two weeks? Two weeks. Last time he played, it was Sacramento two weeks ago. So, a little over two weeks at this point. They throw the lob to Wem Wemby. Wemby can't catch it, but is fouled by Harnstein. That's 3,000 Harnstein. 
Ooh, we'll let the timer tick down too far. 7.18 to go here in the second. I'll <laughs> fill you guys in on the time. Robinson subbing back in. We got Victor Wembanyama in the chat with Father My Guy. As a diehard Spurs fan, yes, I remember 1999. Thanks, big dog. Thanks. Appreciate you. <laughs> Congratulations, Nick, on an amazing season. Y'all having uh, from Texas. Appreciate you, Wemby. Appreciate you, Victor. Shout out to you, my guy. Happy to have you in here. Speaking of, Wembanyama drives it down Euro steps and throws it down with one hand. Insane play. Insane. Appreciate you, Knicks fan. I did see it. Uh, there is seven minutes to go here in the second quarter. Jalen Brunson gets fouled. Uh, 3GP said Knicks got complacent with the last three games. Think they can relax with uh, an 11 seed, a 15 seed. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's also difficult to ramp it up playing lower competition back to upper competition. They got to be able to ramp it up here. They got to be better. Brunson step back, pump fake, leans in, draws the foul on Sohan. So Brunson going to the free throw line for two free throws. He's trying to slow the game down here. The Spurs have, have controlled the pace. Brunson's got to be able to, to gain control of the game back. MBM reminding people to hit the like button. Appreciate everybody in the stream so far tonight. Uh, if you're in the stream you've yet, if, and you have yet to like the stream, please hit that thumbs up button right below the video. It really helps grow the stream, really helps spread it out to more people. We get more people in the chat. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Brunson at the foul line, knocks down the first one. <clears throat> Brunson's got one more coming. 18-point gain. Can you get it back down to 17? And he absolutely does. 52 to 35. Branham bringing it down. Has it up top. Being guarded by Brunson. Over to Wemby down low against Robinson. Stops, turns, faces up, goes under the basket. Tries to hit the scoop reverse layup. Gets fouled by Robinson. He's going to the foul line for two. Wemby Yama picking up a bunch of fouls on the Knicks big men. Putting them in foul trouble. That's one of the ways he's going to be able to combat, you know, size and physicality in the NBA is, is getting these guys in foul trouble. Uh, Victor Wembenyama said, I hate the Mavericks. I did Brunton dirty. I love how y'all building around Brunton completely around his strengths and weaknesses. Y'all building something special. Appreciate you, Victor. Appreciate you. It's been a ridiculously fun time to watch the Knicks. Um, it's been sad. It's always sad to see young players that you've developed be traded away, but when it makes the team better, it's much easier to swallow. And the Knicks just got to get healthy now so we could see, you know, the full potential of the team. Victor Wembanyama in the game, steps to the foul line, knocks down both, puts it back to a 19-point game. So the Knicks trading, back, trading baskets here. They got to be able to come up with some stops. Brunson pump fakes in, step back. He's going to pull it back out. Good defense from Sohan. Brunton coming to his left off the Josh Hart screen. Step back, pump fakes, kicks it out. Josh Hart, he pump fakes. He's driving to his left. A little step back, mid-range jumper off the front rim. Can't get it to go. Robinson fighting for the offense. The rebound picks it back up. Almost loses it. Saves it out to Brunson. Brunson bringing it back out. Crosses over to his left. Gets past Johnson. Throws up a floater off glass. Gets it to go. And Jalen Brunson comes up limping. Holding his hand. Spurs bringing it down. Under six minutes to go. Past the halfway point of the second quarter, still a 17-point game. Inside pass to Wemby. He's got some space. Little jumper off the bank glass. Can't get it to go. Shake Millen with the rebound. Here comes Jalen Brunson. Adds it up top. Brunson crosses over to his left. Coming off the Robinson screen. Got some space. Mid-range jumper. Gets it to go. Jalen Brunson. He's been on one tonight. Just taking what the defense is giving him. Branham has it up top. Over to Wemby. Wemby. Hands it off to Vassell, who's checked back into the game. Loses it. Josh Hart picks it up. Hit ahead pass to Bogdanovich all by himself. Throws it down with two hands. There you go. And another timeout from the Spurs. <clears throat> and now it is a 13-point game. So there you go, Mark. There we go. Chipping away at it. Getting back into it. There we go. It's exactly what you need to do. Defense leading the offense is exactly what you should expect. It's exactly what you need to do. In order to stay in a game like this, when you get down by 20, you got to chip away at it. You're not going to erase the 20-point lead. 
instantly. You're not going to go on a 20 to nothing run. Got to chip away at it. And of course, it starts with the defense. And the defense picking up here, forcing some turnovers, getting lucky with a couple of missed shots. Luck always is going to play a part of it. <clears throat> you know, Wem and Yama had an open mid-range jumper, missed the bank shot. Very easy shot, missed it. Um, but forcing the turnover there on Vassell after he mishandled it. Getting out, getting easy baskets. That's exactly what it's about. Mark, keep chipping away. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Knicks fan said, uh, congratulations on 940 subs, road to 950, uh, uh, the 1K soon. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you guys for coming in tonight. Thank you for subscribing. Almost at 1,000 subscribers. And look, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, YouTube kind of opens the floodgates. They allow you to do a lot more stuff with your stream. So uh, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, expect a lot more improvements with the stream. Appreciate you guys. You guys know I'm always looking to improve the stream for you. Always trying to make this the best show I can on the internet. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Thank you. We'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. Uh, Women Yama said, would you accept the trade of Keldon Johnson, Devontae Graham, salary purpose, and three second round picks from Mitchell Robinson? Absolutely not, Victor Women Yama. Absolutely not. <laughs> Speaking of, Malachi Branham knocks down a three. On the left wing, putting it back up to 16. Uh, I'll get to that <clears throat> trade proposal in a second, Victor Women Yama. Shake Millen has it up top. Over to Brunson. Brunson coming to his left off the Robinson screen. Brunson handling it up top, hesitation dribble, crossing over to his left, gets to the mid-range, pull-up jumper off the front rim, gets the friendly bounce, and gets it to roll in. Why did I start the timer? <laughs> we had not caught up yet. 440 to go here in seconds. Zach Collins hands it off to Vassell. Vassell kicks it out. Keldon Johnson on the right wing. Rodonovich guarding him. Johnson coming to his right off the Zach Collins screen. Bounce pass to Zach Collins. Almost turned it over. The Knicks got their hands on it, but, but took an awkward... Uh, Awkward bounce, and it fell right back into the hands of Zach Collins, who went up for a layup and gets fouled by Shake Milne. Good foul from Shake Milne, saving the layup, forcing Zach Collins to go to the foul line. But 14-point game with Zach Collins at the foul line right now. Knocks down the first one. He's got one more coming. MVM said, we need 40 from JB. We do. <laughs> it might be one of those nights. Steven Chinzo checking in. Achua checking in. Um, as well as McBride. Victor Wimby, you said, I did subscribe, by the way. Appreciate you, Wimby. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. We get to watch the Wimby Yama game, and we got Wimby Yama in the chat. Appreciate you, my guy. Zach Collins, good foul from Shake Millen. Saves a point for the Knicks. Zach Collins splits the pair. One for two, so it's 58 to 43. Brunson has it up top. Coming to his left off the DiVincenzo screen. He's got Branham in the post. Step back. Mid-range jumper goes right to. He's feeling it tonight. Can't get it to go. Good box out from Zach Collins on pressure to Chua. Keldon Johnson with the rebound. He's bringing it down. Has it up top. Coming to his left. Steven Chinzo guarding him. Hits Vassell in the corner for a three over McBride. Gets the go. Good contest from McBride. Just better shot making from Vassell there. And it's back up to 18. Just like that. And the Knicks incapable of stopping the Spurs from scoring here. Josh Hart getting downhill. Throws the lob to Achua who throws it down. Ooh. Wrong team. Forty-five to sixty-three. Sixty-one. Excuse me. Zach Collins steps out for a three off the front rim. Can't get it to go, and a loose ball foul on the Knicks. Three thirty to go here in the second quarter. <clears throat> and the Knicks are in the penalty, so they're going to send Keldon Johnson to the foul line. Can't keep. Can't keep them off the glass. The Spurs are just faster to the ball, playing with more energy, being a lot stronger in the paint than the Knicks right now. Marley said, JB getting 50 tonight. I'm calling it. He might need, he might need to. The way the Spurs are playing, he's going to have to go supernova. He's going to have to put a Superman cape on if the Knicks want a chance here tonight. Somebody's going to have to get hot. Andrew, what's up, Andrew? Keldon Johnson does step to the foul line, knocks down both, putting it back up to an 18-point game. 3.30 to go here in the second quarter. Brunson has it up top. Fakes the hand off DiVincenzo, goes to the basket, keeps it, lays it up and in. And Brunson's up to 21 points here in the first half. He's had his Superman cape on for a while, 
But the Knicks defense has to help him out here. Keldon Johnson with an open corner three can't get it to go. Pressure, uh, pressures the Chua, rips down a rebound. Steven Chinzo pushing the pace, bringing it down. Kicks it out up top to Brunson, coming to his left. Bounce pass to Chua for an easy dunk. Brunson absolutely dominating the game on the offensive end for the Knicks. But the defense not helping him out here. <laughs> Branham driving it down in the corner to Sohan. Extra pass. Vassell left wing three. Can't get it to go. Zach Collins offensive rebound out to Sohan. Cross, cross court pass to Branham. In the corner, driving it down. Puts up the floater. Can't get it to go. Pressures the Chua with the rebound. The Knicks are out and running. Here we go. Josh Hart putting his head down, getting to the basket, leads it up with the right hand, gets it to go. And it's a 12-point game. The Knicks going on a bit of a run, and this is what we're talking about. You can go on a run. It's got to start with your defense. You got to come up with some stops. And here they are, getting stops, getting scores. 12-point game. 12 points is much more manageable than 18. Feels much more manageable than 18. But this is exactly where it starts. It's exactly where it starts. Susan, what's up, Susan? Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Victor Wembanyama said, they don't call me an alien for nothing. Multiple places at once. <laughs> it's crazy. It would be even crazier if, uh, <laughs> if you were on the bench. If the camera panned to Victor Wembanyama on the bench and we saw him on his phone. And, this is, and you're the real Wemby. <laughs> Victor Wembanyama said... Just letting you know, Spurs beat the Timberwolves when they were uh, number one in the West. OKC with the number one in the West. Um, we have these games, then go on an eight-game losing streak. Absolutely, you guys have been streaky, and that's kind of what a young team is. Um, I don't think anybody is concerned about... Not concerned. I don't think anybody's questioning the, the validity of what the Spurs team is once they get older and, and bring in you know, a couple more veteran towns, maybe get a real point guard. I know Trey Jones is, has been okay. He's been up and down. But, um, you know, you get a real point guard to feed Wemby and organize the offense. Uh, you got Wemby Yama, and the more experience he gets, the more years he, he is, the more he physically grows into himself. The Spurs are going to be a problem. And you can see it, right? Uh, like you said, they had some really, really impressive, the Spurs have some really impressive victories under their belt. Uh, and tonight looks like a night with the Ron. Uh, but the, their issues this season has been their consistency. All right, we're back into it. We're back into it. I haven't forgotten about your trade proposal, uh, Wemby. I'll get to it probably at halftime at the end of the quarter here. Wemby Nyama is back in the game. Has it up top, driving to his left. Leaves it off for Sohan, who lays it up and in. Beautiful cut from Sohan. Nice pass from Wemby. And the Knicks falling asleep on defense. Two minutes to go here in the second. Demon Chinzo bringing it down. Over to Achua. Achua up top to McBride. McBride hands it off to Josh Hart. Looking for Brunson. Gets it over to him. Brunson coming to his left in the paint, shovels it to Achua. He has to bring it back out, hands it off to Brunson, puts up the three of the handoff, can't get it to go, long rebound, McBride rips down the rebound, kicks it out to Chinzo, sets its feet, fires from three, gets it to go. There you go, Dante. And he breaks Evan Fournier's record for most threes made in a season. Take a bow, Dante DiVincenzo, but not yet. It's an 11-point game, still got some work to do. Wemby has it up top, driving to his right, kicks it in the corner. Trey Jones for three. That's the guy you want shooting. And Trey Jones makes the Knicks pay, knocking down the three there. <laughs> Jalen Brunson bringing it down. Ooh, score slightly off. 54 to 68, 14 point game. Brunson has it on the left wing against Sohan. Stops, turns, pivots, kicks it out to Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Fakes the handoff, driving to his left, step back, fadeaway jumper over Keldon Johnson, long rebound, Trey Jones picks it up, he's pushing the pace, they got numbers, Keldon Johnson driving it down, scoop layup, can't get it to go, foul on Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson was in position to draw the charge, but foul on Josh Hart before Keldon Johnson got to the basket, he is going to go to the foul line for two, doesn't matter if it was in the, the act of shooting or not, the Knicks are in the penalty. Thank you, Knicks fan, thank you. Uh, Susan said, I don't care. Uh, Wemby is too thin for the Knicks. Come on, Knicks. <clears throat> uh, he is leveraging his size and his wingspan against the Knicks, getting their big man in foul trouble. Harnstein dealing with foul trouble. Mitchell Robinson still not fully there um, with his conditioning yet. Now we got pressure to chew at center trying to guard Wemby. Keldon Johnson at the foul line goes two for two. He's had a phenomenal night off the bench so far. 70 first half points for the Spurs were under a minute to go. Brunson's walking it down. 
Brunson has it up top. Over to Josh Hart. Josh Hart tried to hit McBride coming back door. And it's out of bounds on McBride. Mm-mm-mm. 16-point game. Ball going back to the Spurs. Fifty seconds to go. Trey Jones bringing it down. Has it up top. Being guarded by Brunson. And they throw the lob to Wembenyama, who throws it down. Pressures it to really struggling in this game defensively overall. Thirty-nine seconds to go. Delay a game warning. So Jalen Brunson bringing it down now. Under 40 seconds to go. Brunson on the right wing. Attacking Sohan. Coming to his left off the Achua screen. Has it at the foul line. Pulling it back out. Brunson coming to in and out dribble, rejects the screen from DiMincenzo, kicks it out to Josh Hart, left wing three. That's who they want to leave open, and Josh Hart makes them pay. <laughs> um, back to a 15 point game, but you know, 15 is not really where you want it. When Benyama has it up top, as the Spurs have the last shot of the quarter here, handling it against the Chua. In and out dribble, crosses over to his right, fouled by pressure to Chua, and the Knicks are in the penalty, so it's going to send Wemby to the foul line with seven seconds to go on the clock. Relic, what's up, Relic? Happy to see you, happy to see you. Nostalgic Nick said, let's cut, let's cut it to 10. They got it to 15 with Wemby at the line now for two. So, not great. Wemby and Yama knocks down the first one. Got one more coming. Victor Wemby and Yama said, Trey Jones has completely improved the shooting, especially after... Uh, his missed game winning three against the Bucs. Same game where Wemby and Giannis went toe to toe. Um, uh, he's still pretty inconsistent. He's still low volume on like not great percentage. It's much better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be around 30. It's at like 35, I think it was last time I checked. Um, Brunson baseline fade away. Can't get it to go with the buzzer. And that's going to be it's going to be a 17 point. Um, a 17-point Spurs lead going in at halftime. Uh, the Knicks struggling defensively to guard the Spurs team. And it's not just Wemby. It's everybody. Uh, it obviously starts with Wemby, but we'll get to that in a second. Whew. <clears throat> but if there's anybody on the team, Victor Wembanyama, uh, that you'd rather be taking threes, uh, I'd rather Trey Jones take threes than... Have Keldon Johnson attacking the basket or the ball in Wembenyama's hand um, or the ball in Vassell's hand. Um, but he's definitely making them pay here tonight. Two for two from three. Again, low volume for Trey Jones. Low volume. But he's making them pay. Making them pay. Victor Wembenyama said, uh, said it's okay, Chet can't guard Wimby either. I don't know if there's anybody who can effectively guard Wimby Young. Him, <laughs> his offense is going to be almost entirely uh, him-based, Wimby Yama based Whether or not he can uh, um, get to his spot once he learns how to, how to draw fouls and get really big, aggressive big man uh, out of the game like he did tonight against Hartenstein might be wraps for the league. I think the league is horrified at an experienced and uh, more mature Victor Wembenyama. Marley said, we need better play from Precious. Absolutely. Absolutely. Precious is getting killed right now. Uh, Relic said, rough half. Uh, they're just testing their second half desire. Some days feel like this, though. Let's hope uh, they can just flow through this and reset. I mean, it's 17. 17 is not, you know, you obviously don't want to go into the halftime down 17, but it's not insurmountable. So they're going to have to pick up their defense. Their defense is absolutely letting them down tonight. The Spurs are killing them with their player movement and their ball movement so far tonight. 
Uh, RPX, what's up, RPX? Uh, Mike Mode, what's up, Mike? Uh, Nick's Achilles heel is getting down early. Uh, when they play with the lead, they're difficult to beat. But when they get down early, boy, do they struggle getting back into the game. Um, I mean, every team does, really. <laughs> Being down, it takes a ton of effort to, uh, to just get back into the game. That sometimes it's difficult to get over the hump, which is, which is why, um, you know, comebacks are few and far between. You obviously see a lot more of them uh, nowadays than you did in the past because of uh, the three-point shooting. So, which is why you hear me say, you know, something like Knicks need to get hot. Somebody needs to get hot for the Knicks because um, three-point shooting, three-point shooting, hot three-point shooting can leverage into much better things, but. <clears throat> Mike Mode said, I'm always here on your streams, even if I don't comment at the time. I, I know there's a lot of people in the stream um, aren't always active in the chat. Always appreciate you, Mike. Always appreciate you. Uh, Deborah said, is that score? Is that the score? Come on, guys. Yeah, down 17 at halftime. Got a lot, work, a lot of work to do in the second half. Victor Wembanyama said, 90% of the time, Keldon drives to the basket. He turns it over i take my chances with Keldon driving uh, if I was the Knicks, especially with Robinson in the paint. Well, Robinson coming off the injury um, isn't as quick right now. He's still working his way back. This is his second game. Only played 12 minutes the other night. It's why you're seeing him play like really short stints. Um, had to play a little bit longer with Hartenstein getting into foul trouble early. But um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like them to, to be a little bit more aggressive guarding Keldon Johnson. They're kind of allowing him to be very free out there, whether it's him open for a three-point shot or um, him attacking the basket. They're not being very physical with him at all. And Keldon Johnson's kind of working them so far. He's getting whatever he wants, driving to the basket and knocking down perimeter shots. So something's got to give. They got to take one, at least one of those things away. But d said, the Bucs don't want to play any, anybody in the playoffs. Celtics crash and burn. Go Knicks. <laughs> Elizabeth. What's up, Elizabeth? Marley said, uh, shout out everyone here with us. Uh, that dumb comments chat. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I know some people just like to come and hang out, and that's the whole, that's, you know, the whole purpose. Come hang out. You don't always have to participate in the chat. But come hang out. Absolutely. Everyone's always welcome. Um, I do want to get to Victor Wembanyama's suggestion earlier where he said uh, he pro um, proposed a trade. Let's talk about it. I got to scroll all the way back up and find it. <laughs> also, Victor Wembanyama, I really appreciate the perspective you give from the Spurs side because obviously... Um, we watch the Knicks every night for every game, uh, and we don't really get to pay attention to, to women, Yama and the Spurs and how their season's going. We don't really get to pay attention to a lot of teams, uh, every other team to be specific. Um, but, uh, I really appreciate your perspective and how the season has gone and what to watch out for. So I really appreciate you, big dog. Uh, earlier you said, would you accept the trade of Keldon Johnson and Devontae Graham for salary matching purposes and three second round picks for Mitchell Robinson? I will say, um, absolutely not. Um, now, I know a lot of Knicks fans will probably see this trade and immediately reject it in the sense that, like, no, Mitchell Robinson's dominant. He's incredible. Uh, he's the best offensive rebound in the league. And uh, to start this year, was on pace for the greatest offensive rebounding season in NBA history, rivaling those seasons of Dennis Rodman, which is widely regarded as the greatest rebounder in NBA history. Mitchell Robinson was at that level to start the year and was also on the level of an all-defensive team nomination um, earlier this year before um, getting hurt and having to have ankle surgery. <clears throat> so, you know, I wouldn't trade it, trade him for um, essentially the packages, Keldon Johnson and, and three second-round picks, um, especially considering Keldon Johnson's been a bit disappointing this year. And his new role off the bench, but um, realistically, I think the Knicks would consider it for a handful of reasons. Number one, you have Isaiah Harnstein, who at some point 
um, is going to probably end up being the, the starting center for the Knicks from now on. And Mitchell Robinson will now adjust to being his backup. Uh, now, they, they even when Mitchell Robinson was starting, they were essentially splitting time pretty evenly. And then Tom Thibodeau would just close which, whichever center was playing the best that night. Whether it was Harnstein, he'd close to Harnstein, and he'd get close to 30 minutes. And Robinson would hover around 22 to 24. Um, vice versa, if Robinson was playing well, he'd get up to 30, 30 plus minutes. And Harnstein would hover around 20, 22. Um, so the Knicks essentially have like two starting centers right now. <clears throat> but I think it works out because neither of them, neither of them are like su- supremely great individually. Uh, they're kind of interchangeable. But um, if you are going to take Mitchell Robinson away from the Celtics, who, by the way, is... Um, he is the longest tenured Nick, um, a Nick draft pick. I think the Knicks really value him in the sense that he perfectly accentuates the things that they really, really want to do well, and that's the physicality, that's the rim protection, and that's the rebounding, especially the rebounding and the offensive rebounding. You know, having the best offensive rebounder for a team that really values the possession battle is just, you know, important. Um, But I don't think it's a crazy trade idea. There would have to be a first-round pick involved, if not two first-round picks involved for Mitchell Robinson. Now, the reason why the Knicks would consider it, because they had Hornstein and because Mitchell Robinson, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, is injury-prone. He's dealt with a bunch of injuries throughout his career that holds him out, you know, for large portions of the season. Uh, when he is healthy, he's phenomenal. But, you know, those moments aren't always as consistent as you'd like them to be. Um, and as a team on the rise that's looking to to make some serious noise in the playoffs, not just, like, win a round or two, like, compete for a championship-level noise, get to the Eastern Conference Finals, put the scare in the Celtics or Milwaukee or whoever you see if you do get to a Conference Finals game. Um, y- You know, are you going to be able to rely on a guy who's been injury-prone? Um, so I could see the Knicks at some point moving on from Robinson, even though I've said this before, Wemby. I've said this before. If anybody knows me, Mitchell Robinson's my favorite player on this team. Bar none, I don't care. I know Jalen Brunson's incredible, don't get me wrong. I know Randall is, is you know, a workhorse and is as, as phenomenal as, as he can be and, and, you know, is an all-NBA player and three, three straight all-star teams, and I get it. Mitchell Robinson is my favorite player on the team. It's not even close. Not even close. (laughs) So asking me, I can't be objective about it. I can't. Um, But I will say that if Mitchell Robinson were ever on the trading block, I think they'd get um, better offers to Keldon Johnson and a couple of second round picks. I will say that. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm valuing, valuing him too highly. Because I'm way too, uh, way too uh, biased in the Robinson discussion. <clears throat> when he said, speaking of Robinson, okay, that uh, same proposal, but instead of three seconds, a future first and, and one second. Um, that'd be closer to, to what I think the, the thing, the value would be. Um, but like I said, I'm too biased. Like my answer to all of these is going to be absolutely not. Because um, Robinson's my favorite player. But... Um, I, I think trying to be objective about it, it's not a crazy proposal. It's not a crazy proposal at all, especially considering that they're going to have to pay Hornstein, likely going to keep him, obviously. Um, and, you know, maybe at some point they move on from Robinson, pick up a younger center, <clears throat> considering the way Hornstein's been playing. You know, I'm too biased. I immediately recoil and say no. Nostalgic Nick said, uh, I think CP3 goes to the Spurs in the summer. That'd be a good pickup. You know, latter half of his career. Help that team organize themselves, be a, be a bridge to their next era. Wouldn't be bad. Ty, appreciate you, Ty. Have a good night. Marley said, uh, 98, 97 Clippers taking the lead, 34.4 left magic ball. Ooh, let's go through it. Let's go through it. So Magic Clippers is about to wrap up. Five seconds to go. And it looks like the Clippers are going to win. They're up three. I believe the ball is going to go back to the Magic. They did take the timeout. We'll see how that one ends. And it looks like they missed it. Franz missed a shot. Offensive rebound. And that's the end of the game. The Orlando Magic 
lose again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You love to see it. Uh, the, the Orlando Magic at one point took the four seed away from the Knicks, uh, took a half game lead above the Knicks where they jumped up to four and the Knicks dropped down to five. Uh, and since then, uh, Orlando's gone on a little bit of a losing streak. They're 42 and 30 now. The Knicks 44 and 28. They are now two full games ahead of Orlando. But they got their hands full here tonight. Can't rest on your laurels. <clears throat> Elizabeth said, hoping the Knicks make a big comeback uh, and knock this game out, keeping the faith. Still have time in the game for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Ray, what's up, Ray? Welcome. Said, as a Spurs fan, we're cooking y'all right now. Absolutely. The Knicks getting torched defensively. They got no answers for the way the Spurs are playing between uh, the Spurs moving the ball around and cutting and generating good open looks from three, and then as well as just not having an answer for Women Yama so far tonight. Uh, Women Yama's done a great job of getting the Knicks in foul trouble early, getting Karnstein out of there early. They brought in Robinson. Hell his own, did a, you know, did a decent job, but Women Yama's just getting guys in foul trouble. Um, you know, not trying to be extra physical in the paint. Um, he's been phenomenal tonight holding his own against the Knicks big man. <laughs> Both of them. Uh, Victor Wembanyama said, I honestly love Mitchell Robinson's work on the boards, defensive playmaking. He reminds me of our old-time uh, Spurs player, DeJuan Blair, but bigger. But bigger. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little insulted compared my guy, Mitchell Robinson, to one Blair. <laughs> I see the comparison. I see the comparison. Um, I was actually a big DeJuan Blair fan. I was upset he didn't have a longer NBA career. I understand that he dealt with a ton of injuries through, uh, before he got to the NBA between high school and college. Um, I was a big DeJuan Blair fan. I, I really liked him. I really liked him. When he got drafted to the Spurs, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Perfect fit for the Spurs. And he was really good. He was really good. Um... <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, come on. Mitchell Robinson at 7-1, I guess a little bit of a bigger. He doesn't have the touch that DeJuan Blair has, though. DeJuan Blair had uh, impeccable touch around the basket. Had a nice, soft, soft floater. <laughs> um, Mitch doesn't have soft touch around the basket. He, he's, definitely, he's definitely a brute. <laughs> <clears throat> Cap Topna said, uh, need to open with five quick points. Definitely need to, to get into this one early. You need to pick momentum up uh, in this half early. Uh, Women Yama said, if the Spurs win this game, it will be our first three-game win streak this season. Uh, I did hear that earlier, and of course it would be against the Knicks. That's just the Knicks' luck <laughs> that the Spurs would suddenly catch fire at the end of the season. Um, right as the Spurs are, uh, right as the Knicks are coming into town. Of course, of course. All right, coming out for the second half. Let's make sure our timer's set up and ready to go. The Orlando Magic lost. And the Knicks need to be able to take advantage here. Cleveland's in a tight one. Let's look at that one real quick before we start the second half. Um, the Cleveland-Philly game, it's 87-85 to going into the fourth quarter. So we'll keep an eye on that one. If you guys want to keep me updated, go ahead. Appreciate it. Start of the third quarter. Getting ready. Here we go. Brunson has it up top. Champagne's back into the game. Hornstein has it up top, being guarded by... Wemby, Wemby sagging off, giving him all the space in the world. Hands it off to McBride. McBride coming to his left off the handoff. Got some space, gets in the paint, leaves it off for Harnstein. He goes up and throws it down. There you go, Knicks. Leveraging Wemby Yama, giving Harnstein a ton of space to get open for the guards. Trey Jones bringing it down, has it up top, coming to his right. Knicks going under a lot of screens, giving him space. They get it into Wemby Yama in the low post against Harnstein. Wemby faces up. Kicks it out. Trey Jones, straightaway three. Can he continue to make the Knicks pay? Not that time. Brunson with the rebound. He's bringing it down. 
<laughs> Brunson coming to his left. Shane Penny guarding him. Stops. Foul line. Pull up jumper. Gets it to go. Four quick points for the Knicks. Two straight baskets. Down to 13. Knicks picking up momentum here. This is what we were asking for. Trey Jones up top to Wemby. Yama. Wemby. Hands it off to uh, Vassell, driving it down. Right-handed scoop layup, can't get it to go. Wemben Yama tip, can't get it to go. Puts it up again, can't get it to go. Harnstein with the rebound. Wemby looking at the ref, no foul call. Josh Hart putting his head down. Kicks it out to DiVincenzo, left wing three. Can't get that one to go. Harnstein fighting for the rebound. Wemben Yama saves it. Jetty Osman bringing it down. Over to hit ahead pass to Vassell. Cross-court pass to Champagne. Uh, pass fake, driving it in. Puts up a righty floor, can't get it to go. Josh Hart with the rebound. He's pushing it down. Knicks have the opportunity. Five on four. Out to Brunson. Pump fake. Now he's going to slow it down. He's got Trey Jones on him. Has him in the post. Pulling it back out. Now driving it in at the foul line. Stops. Turns. Kicks it out to Josh Hart. Josh Hart hands it off to McBride. Left wing three for Deuce. Gets it to go in the Knicks. Cut it to 10. They got momentum. 10 point game. Start the third quarter. This is where you want to be. Now, now build on it. Champagne has it up top, being guarded by Hart. In the women, Yama. Brunson almost picked up the steal. Picks it up, kicks it out. Trey Jones, right corner three. Can't get that one to go. Josh Hart with the rebound. Here comes Jalen Brunson. Again, they're going to they're gonna test Trey Jones. Missed his last two. Brunson has it up top, crosses over to his right, leans in, step back, pump fake over to Harnstein. Harnstein, backdoor pass to Brunson, gets open, lays it up, gets it to go. And what is that? A <laughs> nine-point... Uh, 9 0 run, nine quick points here in the second half to start it, and it's down to eight back in the single digits, and it's a game again, folks. It's a game again, just like that. 74 to 66, and the Knicks are right back into it. Uh, timeout for the Spurs. So, you know, Popovich is going to rip into his team, and like we always say, you come out, you slap him in the mouth. How does the other team respond? Right? So, the Spurs are going to come out and respond, and the Knicks got to be ready for that. <clears throat> You don't want this thing to balloon back up to around 15, right? Keep it hovering around 10 for now. Take the blow and then respond after that. Ooh. Susan said, I have to go, but we'll definitely be there for the OKC game. See everyone then. Appreciate you, Susan. Always love having you in here. Thank you for stopping by. Decades at third quarter's hours. Hell, the rest of the game. <laughs> well... It's exactly how you want to come out to start the half, especially when you were down 17 points at halftime. Immediately, immediately ripping nine points off of it. Back to an eight-point game, single digits. Spurs forced to call the timeout right away. Tay said defense, defense, defense. It's always got to start with the defense. Absolutely, Tay, absolutely. You can't trade baskets. You got to be able to stop them. Uh, and when you do, you can get out and running and get easier looks. <clears throat> Starting your game plan with defense will always help you get easier baskets on offense. Very simple analysis. <laughs> Nothing groundbreaking here, obviously. Marley said, I'm going to enjoy this comeback. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. The Knicks, we know the Knicks still had the opportunity, even down 17 at halftime. Um, they didn't particularly shoot it well outside of Jalen Brunson in that first half. So, you know, you knew somebody was going to start to heat up a little bit. Um, and the defense was dreadful. Uh, you would hope, you would think that the defense would take up in the second half. And so far it has. Quick 9-0 run to start the quarter. Mark said chipping away. Chipping away at it. Slowly making it a game. And there, here we are, right back into it. Uh, Cap Top now said, Knicks can run too. Yes, they can. Now, they don't want to make it a track meet game because the Spurs are younger. <laughs> but um, take the opportunities when they come. Absolutely take the opportunities when they come. And they usually, almost always, come after um, good defensive stops because you can get the rebounds, a long rebound, and get on running. And when you have guys like Josh Hart and Devin Chinzo and Brunson who... They like the run too, especially Josh Hart and Dean Chinzo and a guy like McBride and Harnstein's no slouch as the big man. Um, you got you to gotta be able to take advantage when you can. All right, we're back into it. Wemby Yama has it up top, hands it off to Jones, coming to his left, pocket pass to Wemby. Wemby in the paint, gets tied up with Harnstein. And it's going to be a jump ball between Harnstein and Wemby. The defense is ticking up. Nothing easy, nothing easy. Game getting a lot more physical so far. Going to be a jump ball between Wembenyama and Harnstein here. Spurs side of the court. 
9.30 to go here in the third quarter. Big the women's side said, I uh, have to go to sleep, uh, but I work uh, at 4 a.m. tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't know your name, but you're definitely the most respectful Knicks fan I've ever met. Good luck, Red Season Knicks. Appreciate you, Victor Women Yama. Appreciate you, my guy. Always welcome. You're always welcome. Harnstein wins the tip, but it's tipped out of bounds, so it's going to remain with the Spurs. Always welcome, Victor Women Yama. Uh, I'm a Spurs fan. I'm a Spurs. I'm, I'm a basketball fan, so I'm a fan of all the other 29 teams, but the Knicks always come first. I mean, look at me. I'm pecked out in Knicks gear, head to toe. <laughs> Um, but I love good basketball, and the Spurs are playing good basketball right now. <laughs> Champagne gets open for a three, fight for the rebound. Wemby can't corral it. No, he does. The Knicks can't control it. Wemby spins, lays it up, gets it to go. The Knicks had a good defensive stop, and then they let, allowed Wemby to get open onto the basket for an easy layup. So the Spurs score their first basket of the half here, 76-66. to 66. Nine minutes to go. Josh Hart has it up top over to Brunson. Brunson gets open on the right wing for three, gets it to go. Back to a nine-point game. Back to a seven-point game. Jalen Brunson is cooking today. He's almost at 30 already. We got to go through the box score. We didn't even do that at halftime. Wemin Yama has it up top, coming to his left. Pocket pass to Vassell. Has it right side, uh, right side of the court in the baseline. Has Josh Hart in the high post. Kicks it out to Osmond. Back to Vassell. Coming to his right. Step back, corner three over Josh Hart. Tough shot. Can't get it to go. Champagne right there for the offensive rebound. Able to corral and put it back in all in one motion. Impressive athletic move from Champagne. Brunson bringing it down, over to Harnstein, over to Josh Hart. Hart has it up top, over to Brunson. Brunson on the right wing, coming to his left off the Harnstein screen. Getting downhill, lays it up, high off the glass, can't get it to go. And Harnstein right there for the tip up and in. <clears throat> Brunson was knocked down, he's back up and back in the play, so it's back to five on five. Trey Jones bringing it down, ball tipped out of bounds by Devin Chinzo, so the Knicks are going to be able to get to set up their defense here. Eight minutes to go here in the third. And it is a seven-point game. It's back to being a ball game, folks. Back to being a ball game. <clears throat> Trey Jones gets it into Vassell. Kicks it out to Wemenyama up top. Coming to his right. Off of Vassell's screen. Step back. Puts up the three over Harnstein. Gets it to go for Wemby. Tough shot for Wemenyama. Just got to live with that one, honestly. Josh Hart bringing it down. Has it up top, being guarded by Osmond. Over to Brunson, coming to his right, putting his head down, taking some contact, throws it to the floater, can't get it to go, long rebound, back out to Brunson, and he's able to knock it down as the Spurs couldn't corral the rebound. <clears throat> and it's back to an eight-point game. Wemby has it up top, coming to his right off the Trey Jones screen, runs right into Brunson, just loses it. Over to DiVincenzo, bringing it down, over to Josh Hart, over to McBride, out of the corner for three in transition. Comes up short, Josh Hart offensive rebound, kicks it out to Brunson. Brunson. Has it up top, being guarded by Wemby. Brunson, when the dribble moves on, crosses over to his left. Mid-range pull-up jumper over Wemby. Oh, rattles in. I don't care if you're 7'4". I don't care if you got a almost 10-foot reach. I'm still going to take it to the mid-range and knock down the jumper. Six-point game. Trey Jones on the right wing being guarded by Brunson. <coughs> Trey Jones trying to get it into Wemby. They finally get it into him. Has it on the right wing. Faces up, spins. Kicks it out. Champagne driving to his right. Goes right at Harnstein. Layup gets it to go. Tough move from Champagne. 6.30 to go here in the third. Josh Hart bringing it down. 83 to 75. Seven point game. Josh Hart has it up top over to Harnstein. Harnstein hands it off to Brunson. Coming to his right. Getting to the mid range. Bounce pass to Harnstein. Hands it off to Josh Hart. Josh Hart stepping back. Puts up the three. Come on, Josh. Line me up for three, Josh Hart. Talk to me nice, my boy. Five-point game. Six minutes to go here in the third. The Knicks, right back into it. We've chipped away. We've effectively chipped away. But the next step is to take the lead. Vassell, bounce pass to Wemby. Almost lost it. Brunson dives on it. Gets it out to McBride. McBride over to DiVincenzo. Throws the lob to McBride. Bad pass from Debo. McBride able to save it, though. Back out to Brunson. Brunson driving it down. He's going to pull it back out. Reset. Calm things down. Let's get a good look. It's a five-point game. Brunton has it up top. Ten seconds to go in the shot clock. Coming to his right off the Harnstein screen. Step back. Puts up the three straight away. Line me up, Jalen Brunson. Line me up. Here we go. Two-point game. Oh, my goodness, Jalen. What, 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 what is he up to right now? He's got 30-plus. Absolutely, he's got 30-plus. Hold on. Hold on. It's one of those nights. It's one of those nights, folks. <clears throat> 
Jalen Brunson, born to play basketball, 35 points, just under six minutes to go here in the third. You can't guard him. You got nobody to guard the guy. And when he's got the three-point shot going the way he's got the three-point shot going tonight, it's a long night for, for the Spurs. It's going to be a long night for the Spurs. You got nobody to guard him. Sohan can't guard him. Can't stay in front of him. <clears throat> Trey Jones can't guard him. You bring in anybody off the bench, they can't guard him. You got Julian Champagny to start the third quarter on him. He's taking him right to the basket. He can't guard him. Jalen Brunson. <laughs> Ralston Nelson, let's go, Nick. Absolutely, here we go. We're off and running. We're off and running. We said it was going to start with the defense, and the Spurs have scored a total of five points so far here in the third quarter, right? They had, what, 78 points at halftime? The Knicks absolutely allowing their defense to lead the offense. They scored nine points. Nine points so far. Uh, the Knicks have scored 24. <laughs> so they have outscored them by 15 points. It was a 17-point half time lead. And the Knicks have cut it to two. And when you have a young team like the Spurs, I don't care how talented you guys are, you're going to make mistakes. And they made a lot of mistakes so far to start this third quarter. And the Knicks are off and running. Here we go. You, we, we said JB's got to get 40 or 50. Got to put a Superman cape on. It's on. It is on. <laughs> I said Gardner, JB on a mission. Talk about it. Jalen Brunson said, Hold, down 17 at halftime? What are we doing? This is the Spurs. We got it. Come on. He put the Superman cape on. He said, follow my lead. I got it. My bad, y'all. I got to do better. I got to do better. And here he is. <laughs> Isaiah Gardner, my real MVP. Talk about it, Isaiah. Talk about it. My man Jalen Brunson getting disrespected on the MVP ladder. Not even in the top 10, they said. They said not even a top 10 MVP candidate this season. Do you see what he's out here doing? Keeping this team in the hunt? The Knicks are a three seed, a game and a half behind the Milwaukee Bucks for the two seed with the amount of injuries to the level of players that the Knicks have had to deal with this season. And Jalen Brunson's not even a top 10 MVP candidate? Talk to me nice, JB. Here we go. Stop disrespecting my guy. All he does is come out here and get buckets. That's all he does. <clears throat> Here we go. Back after the timeout. Blake Wesley's back in. Over to Vassell coming off a couple of screens. Back out to Blake Wesley. Up top to Vassell being guarded by McBride. Coming to his left off the Zach Collins screen. Gets to the mid-range. Kicks it out. Zach Collins straight away three. Comes up short. Josh Hart chases down the rebound. He's putting his head down. Leaves it off for Brunson. Over to McBride. McBride back out to Brunson. Brunson, he's got Blake Wesley on him. Popovich thinks Blake Wesley could guard him. Let's see what he's got. Brunson has it up top. He's feeling it. Attacking him one-on-one. -on -one. Gets to the left hand. Lays it up. Gets it to go. You can't stop him. It's a tie game. Nick's got to take the lead. Big defensive stop right now. Here we go. Blake Wesley has it up top. Over to Zach Collins. Hands it off to Wesley. Wesley out to Vassell. Vassell coming to his left. Getting to the mid-range, puts up the jumper over Steven Chinzo, gets the go. Tough shot from Devin Vassell. Brunson bringing it down. Full court defense from Blake Wesley, trying to put some pressure on Brunson. Brunson over to Devin Chinzo. Over to Harnstein. Harnstein has it up top. Up top to McBride. McBride back out to Josh Hart. Josh Hart over to Harnstein. Arnstein hands it off to Josh Hart. Josh Hart puts up the three. Is he feeling it? Off the back rim. Long rebound. Blake Wesley out hustling the Knicks to the long rebound. And Vassell over to Keldon Johnson. Throws the lob. And Arnstein came over to block it. But somehow Zach Collins able to guide it in. Couldn't get it in cleanly. But got a nice bounce off the rim. Got his fingertips on it. Just enough to guide it into the basket. And the Spurs take a four-point lead. The Knicks not able to take the lead. They tied it up. But two quick baskets from the Spurs here. Good answer from the Spurs. Good timeout from the Knicks. Let's talk it over. Let's take a look, quick little breather. <clears throat> and let's get right back into it. Isaiah Gardner, it's a dog fight. This is, this is what we want. We want a good competitive close game that the Knicks pull out. Right? <clears throat> we came in tonight knowing exactly who the Spurs team was. They're a young, up-and-coming team. They got a generational player in his rookie year on the team. It's not going to be an easy night. I didn't expect it to be an easy night. You didn't see me come out with the robe, right? I respect this Spurs team. 
But I know the Knicks can, are supposed to win it. I know they're supposed to come out and win it. They should win it. And here we are. They got down early. They pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and here we go. We're right, we're right back into it. And from now until the end of the game, it should be a dogfight. The Knicks should be able to take the lead, and they should not be able to relinquish it until the end. Here we go. Marley said 37 points, 13 points left. Absolutely. Another 50 ball incoming. We haven't seen one since the Spurs, since the, um, the Phoenix Suns game. We went 9 for 9 from 3. Um, 76 ers Cavs, five minutes to go. It's a three-point game. We'll keep an eye on that one as it goes on. Knicks fan said, I'm just saying we get 50 wins. It would be a beautiful sight to see this Knicks team with the amount of injuries that they've dealt with get 50 wins because wait until next year. This Knicks team's going to be going to be knocking on the door at 55, 56 wins. We're back into it. Brunson puts up a three. Oh, my goodness. There he is, folks. 40 points for Jalen Brunson. And it's back to a one-point game. Zach Collins has it up top, hands it off to Vassell. Brunson's chasing Vassell around the screen. Good defense, but now he gets open. Steps back, foul line jumper, gets it to go. <clears throat> they let him get open, and Vassell makes him pay from the mid-range. Back to a three-point game. 86-89, 3.40 to go. Josh Hart has it up top, calling out some directions. Hit Jalen Brunson, come back door. He's got some space, lays it up, gets it to go over Blake Wesley. You can't guard him, Blake. You can't guard him. Jalen Brunson with 40 already. He might go for 60 tonight. The way he's going, he's got 42, 21 in this quarter alone. Vassell has it up top, coming to his left, rejecting the screen, kicks it out. Zach Collins puts up the three. Can't get that one to go. Oh, uh -huh. oh, here come the Knicks. Can they take the lead? It's a one-point game. Josh Hart coming to his left. Pulling it back out. Back out to JB. JB pump fakes, snakes it, gets to the mid-range. In the paint, little fader, comes up short, long rebound. Harshnein kept it alive, but Blake Wesley able to grab it. He's bringing it down, has it on the right wing. Crossing over, coming to his left, in the paint. Ball slapped away. Harstein saves it. And we can't keep it alive. Guns off the hands of Jalen Brunson. He just slipped off his fingertips. It's going to remain with the Spurs. We're under three minutes to go. Mitchell Robinson checking in. Harnstein, fantastic start to the third quarter there. Much better uh, compared to how he started the game, picking up two quick fouls. Zach Collins has it up top. Over to Wesley. Wesley over to Vassell, who gets open, running off a couple of screens. Bad passing from McBride, but Vassell can't make him pay. Misses the three. Jalen Brunson bringing it down. Over to DiVincenzo. Pump fakes. Gets it back out to Brunson. Gets to the hot hand. Get it to the hot hand. Coming to his left. In and out dribble. Coming to his left. And a foul by Blake Wesley up top. Getting too handsy. Getting too handsy. The Knicks got to take the lead here. <clears throat> Forgot the credit done with the not with the two. 89 to 88. Here we go. Ty, what's up, Ty? <clears throat> Just in time for the Knicks to retake the lead here. Steven Chinzo gets it into Robinson. The Knicks have yet the lead here tonight. Steven Chinzo. Crosses over to his left. Coming off of Robinson screen. Has to fire it up with the shot clock winding down. Bricks it. Long rebound. Off the foot of Wesley, but he's able to pick it up. Hit a head pass on the right wing. Keldon Johnson wide open for three. Can't get it to go. Robinson with the rebound. Here comes Josh Hart. Bringing it down. Josh Hart has it up top. <clears throat> Coming to his left. Stepping back. Puts up the three. They leave him open. Can't make them pay. And McBride almost came up with a steal. It's a loose ball. McBride picks it up. That's what I'm talking about, Deuce. McBride leaves it off. Steven Chinzo, left wing three. Take the lead. Can't. Josh Hart fighting for the rebound. McBride picks it up. Can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. The Knicks had their opportunities and they can't convert. <laughs> the Spurs bringing it down. Vassell has it on the left wing. Vassell coming to his left. Snakes are coming to his right. Loads up and throws it down with two hands. <clears throat> And back to a three-point game. The Knicks have had their opportunity to take the lead. You got to take the lead, Knicks. 88-91, to 120 to go. I forgot to restart the timer. 120 to go. Brunson putting his head down. Going to the basket. Takes some contact. Throws it out. Demon Chinzo saves it. Out to Josh Hart. Seven seconds to go. You got to make something happen. Come on, Josh. Drive it in. There you go. Put your head down. Get to the basket. Lays it up. Gets blocked by Zach Collins. No foul call. Josh Hart picks it up. Throws it up the basket. Can't hit the rim. Shot clock violation. 
One minute to go here in the third quarter, 91-88. Ragged couple of minutes there. Ragged couple of minutes there. <clears throat> Big Crims said, did the chat, did the game start yet? Shout out Big Crims, man. Shout out Big Crims. Vassell has it up top, coming to his left off the Wemby screen, who just checked back in, kicks it out to Wesley, over to Wemby Yama, puts up the straightaway three over Robinson, gets it to go, right back into the game, knocks down a momentum-killing dagger for Wemby Yama. Back up to a uh, six-point game, 88-94. to 94. Josh Hart bringing it down, 45 seconds to go here in the third. Josh Hart has it up top, being guarded by Johnson. Over to Brunson. Brunson up top, being guarded by Wesley. Coming to his right off the heart, uh, Robinson screen, step back, puts up the three. He's feeling it. Oh, my goodness, Jalen Brunson. Oh, my God. Back to a three-point game. He is feeling something tonight. 30 seconds to go. Vassell bringing it down, has it up top. Winding down the clock, 25 seconds to go. 10 to go on their shot clock. Vassell coming to his left off the one Yama screen. Dribble pull up three. Way off. Bang. Hit the backboard first. <clears throat> Robinson with the rebound, and Jalen Brunson is going to walk it down for what should be the final shot of the quarter, being guarded by, by Blake Wesley. Brunson, one-on-one -on -one against Wesley, He's dancing with it, and gets fouled by Wesley. He just reaches in and grabs him. Three seconds to go. Whew. Peter said, Cleveland in a tight one. Absolutely. We'll check on it in a second. El Tigre, what's up, El Tigre? Happy to see you. Rishi Rich, Nick shouldn't be struggling like this against the rookie and company. They're battling Coach Pop. <laughs> Spurs team are playing a lot better since the All-Star break. Can't underestimate the opponent. Fakes the handoff, bringing it down. Bullet pass inside the Robinson. Bad pass from Bogdanovich. <clears throat> no chemistry between Bogdanovich and Robinson. Obviously, Robinson just coming back. Uh, uh, Bogdanovich traded midseason. 45 points for Jalen Brunson. Four for eight from three. I mean, the 50 ball is, is right there. He's going to go. He's going to score more than five points in the, sec, in the fourth quarter. Three-point game going into the fourth quarter. It's exactly what you wanted after being down 17 at halftime. Jalen Brunson might go for, for 60 tonight. You can't guard the guy. You can't guard him. Marley said, what's the odds he gets 60? I don't know. I don't know, but... I kind of like those odds. The way he's cooking, you know Jalen Brunson doesn't really cool off. You know he doesn't cool off. When he's got, when he's hot and he's feeling it, it lasts the whole game. <laughs> Tyler, what's up, Tyler? Tyler uh, McKeithen, what's up, Tyler? Cap Tom, now can't let the youngins out hustle you, Knicks. That's, that's what the youngins are going to do. It's what a young team is supposed to do. That's how you're supposed to win games as a young team. You're supposed to out-hustle the older, veteran-laden teams. <clears throat> That's how the Spurs um, remained in the lead in the third quarter. Uh, beat the Knicks to a couple of loose balls, but the Knicks shot-making, um, Jalen Brunson's ability to control the pace of the game. Mark said, keep chipping. They got to take the lead at some point, right? We always talk about getting over the hump. <clears throat> it's not enough to be tied in the game or be in a close game. You got to get over the hump, take the lead, because that puts the pressure on the other team. It's like, oh, hold on. We actually lost the lead, right? So far, the Spurs have done an excellent job of not allowing the Knicks to take the lead so far tonight. Big Grim said, time for the fourth quarter explosion, uh, eruption. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here we go. Minute and uh, 15 seconds to go. Cavs and Philly in a tight one. A really close one. 110 to 109. MBM said we're walking them down. <laughs> that second scene won't be easy. Let's go. Hey, Big Crims, Big Dog. Don't make me say that. <laughs> I see your comment, Big Crims. <laughs> Mark, I'm with you, Mark. I'm with you, Big Dog. I don't know what Big Chris is on right now. <laughs> Jalen Brunson is going to start the fourth quarter on the bench as usual. Normal rotation. Normal rotation. We'll probably see him around the nine to eight minute mark. Nick's got to hold on, though. <clears throat> Keldon Johnson on the left wing being guarded by Chua. 
Inside pass to Wembenyama being guarded by Robinson and a travel on Wembenyama. <laughs> you got to get over the hump. Big Crims, you got to get over the hump. Mitchell Robinson in the paint. Oh, he misses the layup, the chippy. Mitch, you got to throw it down. That's where the explosion and the athleticism isn't there yet. He laid it up and in, but you got to throw it down, Big Mitch. Trey Jones driving it down in the corner to, to Champagny. Picks his dribble up, gets it out to Trey Jones, driving to his right. Now kicks it out to Keldon Johnson, driving to his right, putting his head down, and gets fouled by Bogdanovich on the floor. Tyler said, can you shout out my friend Trey? Shout out Tyler McKeithen's friend Trey. I got you, Tyler. I got you. Shout out Trey. <clears throat> Branham gets it into Wemby on the right wing, being guarded by Robinson. Hands it off to Trey Jones coming to his left. Kicks it out to Keldon Johnson. Pump fakes, driving it down, throws it up at the basket, and gets fouled by the Knicks. He comes up limping. Fouled on Deuce, I believe. Looks like he's signaling to the bench. Isaiah Gardner said, it's crazy how JB is not top five or six in the MVP voting, but uh, Jason Tatum is, and he doesn't play like the best player every night. I mean, he doesn't have to. Not with that team. Misses the first free throw. Kelton Johnson's still limping. It looked like he signaled over to the bench. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, you can't see the scores table right now to see if they're going to sub him out. Looks like they are. Jetty Osmond is, come, is uh, at the scorer's table, waiting to check in. Three-point game, Keldon Johnson at the foul line, missed the first one, gets the second one. So splits the pair. And McBride's going to bring it down. McBride up top, hands it off to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo over to Bogdanovich, coming to his left. Pump fake, now puts up the foul line jumper, way off. Fight for the rebound, pressures the Chua has it. Brings it back out, hands it off to McBride, coming to his left, snakes it. Coming to his right now, gets to the mid-range, a little floater in the paint, comes up short, long rebound. Wemben Yama picks it up. Quick outlet to Trey Jones. Over to <clears throat> over to Champagne. He got blocked from behind, but he is fouled. He's going to go to the foul line for two. And this is where the Knicks really struggled in the second quarter, where the, the Spurs went on, on like, what, a 12-2 run and ended up building a 21-point lead was when um, uh, Jalen Brunson was on the bench. So the Knicks just got to survive these minutes right now. You're not going to get me to say it, Big Crims. You're not going to get me to say it. <laughs> Champagne knocks down the first free throw. He's got one more coming. Five-point lead for the Spurs. Six-point lead as Champagne goes two for two. <clears throat> Big Crims says, what about McBride? Not a great night for Deuce offensively. He's got, what, five points, I think? Deuce over to Achua, over to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo into Robinson. Robinson hands it off to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich coming to his left, driving it down. Scoop layup. Nope, leaves it off for Robinson, but stolen by Wemby. Come on. Struggled with his handle. Now he's going to bring it down over to Trey Jones. Trey Jones is going to bring it down. Over to Champagne. Back to Trey Jones. Over to Wemby. Wemby being guarded by Achua. Picks his dribble up. Gets fouled by DiVincenzo. Or Precious. Four fouls on Precious. d -Raz said, uh, <laughs> take the lead and don't look back. That's the, that's the issue right now. Got to take the lead. The Knicks have yet to lead here tonight. Women Yama out of the corner for three. Gets it to go over the outstretched arms of Mitchell Robinson. Nine-point game. Deuce McBride bringing it down. McBride crosses over to his left, in the paint, driving it down, goes under the basket, turns, fires, can't get it to go. Robinson, offensive rebound, fighting for it, keeping it alive, fight for the rebound, kicks it out. Bogdanovich, straightaway three, can't get it to go. We needed that one, Bogey. We need some offense. The Knicks struggling to score, hit ahead past Bogdanovich under the basket by himself, kicks it out to Branham. He's driving it down, kicks it out, Trey Jones, left wing three. 
gets it to go, and the lead has ballooned right back up to 12. Tibbs, you got to get Jalen Brunson to the game. I know what your usual rotations are. I get it. This is not the game. You need every win you can get. And you were in position. <clears throat> got to get Jalen Brunson in a little bit earlier. <clears throat> Big Crim said, uh, well, I can see after this fourth quarter, uh, Nick's eruption. Chef can put on his robe. <laughs> what smoke. Uh, the Knicks now down 12. Struggling to score uh, baskets. The Cavs up by one with six, 16 seconds to go. So wouldn't be great if the Knicks end up losing tonight and the Cavs end up winning. Kenny said bogey's a liability. Just really needed that one to go down, man. Uh, Sanga and Waldron, what's up, Sanga? I will put them, we will pull up and uh, squeeze them late. <clears throat> Time winding down on the Knicks, not on the Knicks side. There is exactly 9.31 to go. 9.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Obvious, obviously enough time, but 12 points is not where you want to be at, uh, bringing in Jalen Brunson. You wanted to be hovering around five. Mark said, no way Bogey's back next year. Uh, seriously, seriously doubt it. I seriously doubt it. <clears throat> Mike Moat said, after all that in the third, you come out and don't score one basket in the first three minutes of the fourth. No Jalen Brunson. This is the exact lineup that got them in trouble. No scoring uh, provided. When Jalen Brunson's been on the bench. He's got 45 points. And the next leading scorer is DiVincenzo with 11. So Brunson not getting a whole lot of help offensively tonight. Big tested why is Bojan in the game? Jalen Brunson's going to remain on the bench? Tibbs, what are you doing, big dog? It's a 12-point deficit. How much farther do you want the Knicks to fall here? Oh, my goodness. All right, coming back out of the timeout. McBride's going to bring it down. The Knicks come out with the same lineup except Hornstein in for Robinson. DiMincenzo has it up top being guarded by Trey Jones. Over to Josh Hart. Josh Hart has it up top. Over to Hornstein. Hornstein. Trying to get it out to DiVincenzo. Gets to him right wing three. Gets some space and he knocks it down. There you go, Debo. Cuts it back to nine. All right. About nine minutes to go here in the fourth. Trey Jones has it up top being guarded by McBride. Out to Weminyama up top. Driving to his right. Putting the dribble moves on. Crossing over. Ball poked away. Picks it back up. Hands it off to Keldon Johnson. Coming to his right. Driving it down. Kicks it out up top. Almost lost it. And DiVincenzo picks up the steal. Hit ahead to Josh Hart. And he's going to go down for an easy layup. Yes, sir. Quick five points. <clears throat> Jalen Brunson is now at the scorer's table. DiVincenzo picks up the foul. Malachi Branham driving it in. The Spurs trying to push the pace. Trying to get easy ones. Ty said, uh, why is Jalen on the bunch? Well, he's coming in now. After DiVincenzo picked up the foul, it's, uh, it's a dead ball. Jalen Brunson's going to sub in now. <clears throat> so the Spurs will uh, shoot two free throws here. Brandon misses the first one. Jalen Brunson checking in for Bogdanovich. So the Knicks put their starting five back out there. Big test and five. Bojan. Not happy with the Bojan minutes. Maureen, what's up, Maureen? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Huh. Random does knock down the second one. Eight-point game. 
Jalen Brunson bringing it down. Crosses over to his left off the Hornstein screen. Gets to the mid-range, pulling it back out. Over to Hornstein, back to Brunson. Brunson coming to his right. Snakes it. Picks up the foul on Osmond. Puts up the jumper. Can't get the jumper to go, but he is going to go to the foul line for two free throws. Three GP said Cleveland won. Unfortunate for the Knicks. Cleveland now tied with the Knicks for the for the three seed. So the Knicks has to pick up a win tonight. Peter said Cavs win by three. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Jalen Brunson at the foul line. Knocks down the first one. He's got one more coming. 8.30 to go. Here in the fourth quarter. Definitely enough time. Blake Wesley checking in for Malachi Branham. <clears throat> Brunson at 46 points. After he knocks down this free throw, it'll be at 47, and it'll be a six-point game. He does just that, and it is a six-point game, 98 to 104, 8.30 to go. Just under 8.30 to go. Blake Wesley's back in. He has it up top, hands it off to Vassell. Vassell comes to his left off the Wemby Yama screen, pocket pass to Wemby, pull-up foul line jumper, gets it to go. Wemby has been clutch, hitting big shot after big shot all night. Brunson bringing it down. He's got space. Going to pull it back out. Coming to his right off the Hornstein screen. He's got space. Attacking Wemby. Pump fakes. Now puts it up. There was some contact. And then Wemby runs right over Brunson. And Vassell bringing it down. Has it up top. Keldon Johnson on the right wing. Coming down. And a foul on Josh Hart. And the Knicks are in the penalty this early? 7.48 to go, and the Knicks are in the penalty already? Wemmin Yama going to the foul line for two. It's an eight-point game. He can put it back to a double-digit game. Tay said Brunson had no help today. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. Steven Chinzo is, what, 14? He's the next leading scorer. Wemben Yama at the foul line. Knocks down the first one. He's got one more coming. Champagne checking back in for Keldon Johnson. <clears throat> Wemben Yama misses the second one. Splits a pair. Go back to a nine-point game. McBride on the right wing. Harnstein hits Brunson cutting back door. Goes under the baseline. Gets fouled by Wesley. Brunson's going to inbound it. 7.30 to go. Inside the Harnstein. Harnstein hands it back off to Brunson. Brunson coming to his right, has space, puts up the three, gets it to go. Jalen Brunson hits the 50-point mark for the second time this season. Blake Wesley has it up top. Over to Wemby. Six-point game. Big Pride picks up the steal. He's going to go down, lay it up and in. Yes, sir, Deuce. Yes, sir, Deuce. Four-point game. Come on, Knicks. Seven minutes to go. Plenty time. But it's got to be on the defensive side here. 12-4 run for the Knicks. Blake Wesley has it up top. Out to uh, Vassell. Vassell coming to his left off the women. Yama screen. Hesitation dribble. Cross-court pass. They swing it around. Champagne has it up top. Coming to his left. Driving it in. Puts up the floater. Can't get it to go. Bad shot from Champagne. Josh Hart with the rebound. It's a five on four. Got to take advantage. Josh Hart driving it down. Out to Devin Chinzo. He puts up the three. He knocks it down, folks. It's back to a one-point game. And just like that, the Knicks... Cut the lead down to one after Jalen Brunson was reinserted into the game. <clears throat> There's your help, folks. There's your help. <clears throat> There's your help, right? We're just talking about guys need to help Jalen Brunson out tonight right now. DiVincenzo stepping up. He is what? Up to 17 points, I believe. 17 points for Dante DiVincenzo. 
Uh, 10, 10, and 8 for Josh Hart. He has done his part. That's exactly what you expect from uh, Josh Hart, right? He's also knocked down two threes, which is not what you expect from Josh Hart. So he's chipped in where he, he's needed to. McBride's up to seven points. Uh, great. You'd hope a little bit more from him, but that's about what you would expect on an average night from McBride. Uh, Harnstein was six, three, and four. Defense has been great. Um, the per perimeter defense has picked up, which is nice. But obviously, obviously, this is on the back of one. Jalen Brunson putting on an absolute clinic, a masterpiece so far tonight. He's got 50, and we still have half the fourth quarter to go. He could get up to 60. <clears throat> MBM said, took this game light, OKC on the mind. Maybe, maybe. I'm looking for OG Ananobi back against Oklahoma City. We definitely need him. It's going to be a tough, tough game with the size that OKC has out on with their perimeter guys between SGA, um, Jalen Williams, uh, obviously Chet, but we have the big man size to deal with a guy like him. <clears throat> I love Pies had a lot of time left. We can get this one. Yeah, more than half the quarter left. 6.40 to go, and it's only a one-point game, and the Knicks have momentum right now. 3GP said waking up because they probably heard the Cavs won. Uh, yeah, if the Knicks lose tonight, they lose possession of that three seed. The Knicks got to pick up a win. Right? We were counting. We were penciling this one in as a win. We knew it wasn't going to be easy. We were penciling it in. Kay Hazy. What's up, Kay Hazy? This game. This game has been crazy. Crazy. Big Crim said, get OG and Randall have a Knicks reunion. <laughs> Ty, 63 points. You're predicting 63 points for JB. 13 more points. And the second half of this fourth quarter would be an insane explosion from JB. Or as Big Crims likes to say, an eruption from JB. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Looks like we're getting ready to check back in after this timeout. One point game again. Can the Knicks get over the hump? They have been down the entire game. They have not led tonight at all it has been a wire to wire game so far from the spurs and they come out with possession jetty osmond has it up top over to vassell who gets open on the right wing for three and he knocks it down the knicks come on come on the spurs answer every single time the knicks get it to one jalen brunson bringing it down approaching the six minute mark the halfway point harnstein has it up top when is out of the game brunson Crossing over to his right off the Harnstein screen. Hesitation dribble. Crossing over to his right. Puts up the floater. Gets fouled. And one for JP. You can't guard this guy. You can't guard him. That's insane. Picked up the foul and knocked down the floater anyway. The old-fashioned three-point play on the way for JB. <clears throat> so back to a two-point game. Jalen Brunson going back to the free-throw line for one more. Brunson at the foul line, converts the three-point play. 53 points for Jalen Brunson, a new career high for JB. Vassell coming to his right. He's got some space out of the mid-range, puts up the jumper, gets it to go. Can we, can we close the airspace on Devin Vassell? He's doing a great job of getting open, running off a bunch of his screens, but can we close the airspace on him? Brunson bringing it down. Has it up top, being guarded by Trey Jones. Coming to his left off the Harnstein screen. Hesitation dribble. Pocket pass to Harnstein. Kicks it out up top. Josh Hart pump fakes. Driving it in. Inside. Leaves it off for Harnstein. Off the hands of Zach Collins. But they're going to call it out on Collins. So the ball is going to stay with the Knicks. Popovich not going to challenge that call. In the Harnstein. Back to Brunson. And they're going to say Jalen Brunson was out of bounds when he touched the ball back from the handoff from Harnstein. Bad turnover. Bad turnover from the Knicks. Ball's going back to the Spurs. So Trey Jones bringing it down now. Trey Jones over to Champagny. And an offensive foul on Julian Champagny. Good play from Devin Chinzo getting right, closing the airspace of Champagny. 
and forcing Champagny to lean right into DiVincenzo. <laughs> Arms up high, connecting with DiVincenzo's face. It's going to be an offensive foul 10 times out of 10. They're going to check to see if it's a play from Champagny. It wasn't. It's a typical common foul. Incidental contact to the face. It is what it is. Common foul. Come on, let's keep it moving. Momentum on the Knicks side. Come on, refs. Don't kill the game. Don't kill the game, refs. Come on. Big Crim said, I can't watch. These are the games you got to watch, Big Crims. You got to love these. Jalen Brunson's on a heater. He's up to 53 at career high. 3GP, my blood pressure. The cardiac mix. Back at it again. Back at it again. <laughs> Got a lot of people in the stream tonight. Appreciate everybody showing out tonight for the really, really what turned out to be an incredible game between the Knicks and the Spurs. Very entertaining. Shout out everybody in the stream so far, everybody in the chat <clears throat> uh, participating in the chat. Appreciate you guys. Uh, if you're in the stream right now and you haven't hit the like button, please go ahead. Hit that thumbs up button right below the video. It really helps. It really helps grow the stream and grow the channel and grow the community. Um, it takes less than a second. Uh, doesn't impact your viewing experience at all. Please like the stream. Um, it's a free way to support. And all it really does is help grow the stream and get it out to more people. <clears throat> and more people always means more fun, right? Having more people in the stream, more people in the chat, more people to talk to is always more fun. <laughs> El Tigre, what's up, El Tigre? Tom, um, Greg Popovich screaming at the ref. No technical foul. Here we go. McBride bringing it down. Over to Harnstein. Harnstein hands it off to Brunson. Brunson coming to his left off the Harnstein screen. They blitz over to Harnstein. Into paint. Stops, turns, spins. And he goes down hard, and Harnstein's holding his wrist. Harnstein holding his wrist. He is really, really hurt. He went down and grabbed that wrist immediately. Oi, oi, oi. He's going to be helped up. Holding his hand, holding his wrist. He's flexing it. All right, he's shaking it and, and moving it and flexing his hand so it doesn't seem broken. Just landed on it awkwardly. That's going to be a flagrant foul on Jetty Osmond. <clears throat> uh, intentionally fouled Harnstein and, and followed through with it. So it's going to be a, uh, a flagrant foul on Jetty Osmond. Harnstein holding the flex in his wrist. He, he's not looking to come out at all. He's sitting on the bench. He's going to come back into the game. But um, I didn't notice if it was right or his left hand. Obviously a lefty. It's his right hand. They're going to wrap the wrist up. Hey, hey, hey. This game has become an absolute barn. I let the timer take down way too far. Five minutes and 13 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. So what is the call? I don't have the headphones in. I can't read your lips, ref. So flagrant foul and Jetty Osmond, two free throws and possession for the Knicks. Cap top, now Youngin's getting chippy. Yep. Ty said this would be a major loss. He's flexing the hand, flexing the wrist. It's not broken. He, he, he would be in agonizing pain. He wouldn't be able to, <laughs> to even be out there to shoot these free throws. Um, so that's good. Harnstein misses the first free throw. Mario said, I heart's a warrior. Absolutely. This whole team is full of warriors. Team Robinson, Randall, Harnstein, Brunson. These guys fight through injury time and time again. Brun uh, Harnstein does knock down the second one. Ball back to the Knicks. Harnstein's going to stay in. Wembenyama comes back in for the final five minutes. They get it into Brunson. Brunson 
Left corner being guarded by Trey Jones. He's got Trey Jones in the post, backing him down, backing him down, coming to his right, in the paint, puts up the lefty layup. Get misses the chippy, JP! Trey Jones coming down. They got numbers. Vassell, left wing, pull up three. Comes up short. Josh Hart fighting for the rebound. Loose ball. Harnstein has it. Hit ahead pass to Brunson. Brunson hesitation dribble. Puts up the left wing three. Can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. Long rebound. Hit ahead pass to Wemby. Wemby can't control it. Deuce McBride chasing it down, and he's able to pick it up. Good deep, good hustle from McBride. Hit ahead, DiVincenzo. Left corner three. Wide open. You know that's going in. You know that's going in. And the Knicks take a one-point lead, baby. You needed the lead. And, and the Knicks finally, finally take their first lead of the game. Trey Jones on the right wing. 4.30 left to go. And fouled Harnstein, fouls Wembenyama, fighting for position. Four fouls on Isaiah Harnstein. He's done a great job of not getting into foul trouble here after picking up two quick early ones and a third one early in the second. Three GP said, uh, "Hope and I heart played that for the ref." I don't think so. I think that that he he and he landed awkwardly on that wrist. <clears throat> because the Spurs are in the penalty, Women Yama at the foul line knocks down the first one. Got one more coming. Ties the game at one thirteen. Keldon Johnson checking back in. <clears throat> Joe Long, what's up, Joe? Women Yama at the foul line. Can he give them the lead? He cannot. Still tied at 113. 420 to go here in the fourth quarter. Brunson bringing it down. Brunson on the right wing. Going against Trey Jones. Backing him down. Backing him down. Turns. Fires. Fades. Get, banks it in. 55 for Jalen Brunson. Knicks with a two-point lead. Their largest lead of the game. Trey Jones on the right wing. Being guarded by Brunson. They feed Women Yama in the high post on the right wing. He faces up, going right into Harnstein, stops, turns, spins. And they wave it off. And a foul before the shot, foul on the floor. So more free throws for Wemby. Where is the foul? Let's see it. They're going to call another foul on Harnstein here. They're going to say his left hand <clears throat> had it on his, his hip, I guess. So Women Yama going back to the foul line for two. Joe Long, we got a game. Absolutely, we got a game. Mark, JV is a super star. Talk about it, Mark. Talk about it. Russell Field, Nick scrapping it out. Absolutely. Women Yama knocks down the first one. He's got one more coming. Ty <laughs> said, get my Knicks out of Curl Town. Knicks got to pick up the win tonight, and then they got to go home and rest up for a big game against the Thunder. But you got to pull this one out here tonight. Wemben Yama knocks down two big clutch free throws. Under four minutes to go. Jalen Brunson walking it down. <clears throat> Brunson has it up top, being guarded by Jones. Going one-on-one -on -one against Jones. Backing him down, backing him down. They bring a double team. Goes right through the double team. Throws up a floater. Comes up short. Wemben Yama with the rebound. He's got room. Bringing it down. It's going to slow it down. Has it on the right wing. In and out dribble coming to his right. Going right at them. Lost it. Loose ball. Champagne picks it up. It's still loose. <clears throat> Johnson has it. Kicks it out to Trey Jones. They swing it around. Wemby pump fakes. Driving to his right. Now pulling it back out. He's got to give it up to Trey Jones. Trey Jones driving it down against Josh Hart. Kicks it out. Ball poked away. Trey Jones picks it back up. Out to Johnson. Johnson got to put it up. Shot clock winding down. Off the back rim. Long rebound. Josh Hart fights for it. And Devin Chins will even pick it up. That's a great defensive effort right there from the Knicks. Tied at 115. Three minutes to go. Under three minutes to go. Brunson has it up top. Coming to his left off the Harnstein handoff. Snakes it coming to his right. Now getting some space. Gets to the foul line. Pull-up jumper. Oh, Jalen Brunson knocks down the pull-up jumper. He's answered time and time again. He's got 57 points, folks. 57. Keldon Johnson has it up top. Over to Wemby in the high post being guarded by Harnstein. Jab step, puts up the jumper, comes up short. Jalen Brunson with the rebound. Let's extend the lead, JB. He's bringing it down. Trey Jones guarding him. Brunson bringing it down. Has it up top. Holding on to it. Come to his right off the Harnstein screen. Dribble pull up three. Comes up short. Wemby Yama with the rebound. Oof. Oof. 
Trey Lewis. What's up, Trey Lewis? Wemby bringing it down. Behind the back. In the Champagne. Champagne up top to Vassell. Coming to his right. He's got space. Attacking the basket. Scoop play with the left hand. Gets it to go. Beautiful move from Devin Vassell. Tied at 117 again. We're under two minutes to go. Under two minutes to go. Fligo. What's up, Fligo? Brunson on the left wing. Being guarded by Trey Jones. Brunson going one on one against Trey Jones. Oh, crossover gets past and puts up the floater. In and out, halfway down. Josh Hart grabbing the rebound. And a foul on Keldon Johnson. And he is furious. Teammates got to hold him down. Make sure he doesn't pick up the technical. <clears throat> Jalen Brunson. Stuck on 57. Game stuck on 117, both sides. Tim Dog, we got a Pacers fan. Shout out Tim Dog. <laughs> he said, "Go Pacers." <laughs> uh, so Josh Hart at the foul line for two free throws. Both teams in the bonus now. One forty to go. Josh Hart comes up short, but gets the friendly roll. The shooter's touch on his first free throw attempt. He's got one more coming. Knicks fan says, my heart says Brunson, but my mind says Joker for MVP. Josh Hart, big, two clutch free throws for big Josh Hart. 119-117, both teams in the bonus. Here we go. Trey Jones bringing it down over to Vassell. Vassell has it up top, coming to his left. Now coming to his right, off a couple of screens, throws a, a, ooh, a lob to Wemby. Outstretched hand, gets right over Harnstein, and he guides it in, tied at 119. Brunson bringing it down. Has it against Trey Jones. Brunson on the left wing. One on one again. All four Knicks on the opposite side of the court. Brunson driving it down. Puts up the floater off glass. Gets it to go. 59 for Jalen Brunson. 110 to go. Trey Jones bringing it down. Has it up top. Brunson, come, uh, Vassell coming to his right off a couple of screens. Up top, Weminyama for three. He's been feeling it all night. Way off on that one. DiVincenzo rips down the rebound. The Knicks up two. We're under a minute to go. He's going to bring it down. <coughs> DiVincenzo, 50 seconds to go. Jalen Brunson has it up top. He's got 59. Can he, get to, can he get to 60? Trey Jones guarding him. Brunson crosses over to his right. Step back, mid-range jumper. Off the back rim, can't get it to go. Long rebound, Champagne able to grab it. Good fight from Keldon Johnson to keep it alive. Vassell has it on the right wing. It's a two-point game. Knicks up two. Over to Wemby. Steven Chinzo, good help. Wemby coming down. Scoop lay with the left hand. Gets fouled by Hornstein. That's now five fouls on Isaiah Hornstein. And Wemby and Yama going to the foul line for two free throw attempts. Oof. Oof. Oh, they say I had to get off the treadmill. <laughs> oh, man. Joe Long said Brunt. Oh, Harnstein's fouled out. That was six fouls on Harnstein. Ay, ay, ay. Mitchell Robinson should be checking in here. He is. Big Crim said JV for president. <laughs> if he ran for, for the mayor of New York, he'd win it. He'd win it. <laughs> Wemben Yama at the foul line for two free throws here. Spurs down two. Big two free throws here for Wemby as there's only 24 seconds left on the game clock. Wemben Yama knocks down the first one. Big clutch free throw for Wemby. You know he's built for these situations. Knock down the first one. Can he get the second one here to tie it up at 121? <laughs> Jules, what's up, Jules? OMG, I'm late. KB with 59. Are you serious? He put on his Superman cape tonight. Wembenyama, huge, huge clutch free throws, goes two for two at the free throw line. What an impressive night for Victor Wembenyama. The Spurs needed him. When the Knicks made their comeback, they were down 17 after the halftime. Had a huge third quarter run. When they needed him, every single time, Wembenyama made big shot after big shot. Getting to the foul line now here in the fourth quarter, knocking down his free throws. <clears throat> Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jalen Brunson. MVP candidate, absolute superstar, Jalen Brunson. Kev Tavna, are you not entertained? Jalen Brunson, 59 points here tonight. It's going to take a 60-point effort from JB. It's going to take a 60-point effort. <laughs> oh, 
I love Pi said, burning more calories watching the Knicks games than hitting the gym. <laughs> the cardiac Knicks strike again. We got over 200 people in the stream here checking in. And Knicks against the Spurs tied at 121. 24 seconds left to go. So the Knicks could hold the ball for the final shot of the quarter here. Likely will try to. They're in the bonus. Spurs don't have a foul to give. <laughs> if you guys like the content, feel free to subscribe. We do every Knicks game of every season. We don't miss games around here. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Big night for the Knicks. Trying to take a five-game winning streak against the Oklahoma City Thunder on Sunday to end the month. So far, they are 9-3 and three on the month. Can they make it 10-3? and three? Jalen Brunson is going to bring it down and most likely going to hold it for the final shot of the quarter. Shot clock is off. Full 24 seconds. Brunson has it up top. He's got the opportunity to win it here tonight. Tied at 121. No fouls to give. Eight seconds to go. Brunson has it up top. Going to go one-on-one -on -one against Trey Jones. They bring a double team. Coming to his right. Step back. Pump fake. Kicks it out. McBride. Right wing three at the buzzer. Can't get it to go. Weminyama with the rebound. We got five more minutes of basketball, folks. We got five more minutes of basketball. Oof. Oof. Jalen Brunson. They absolutely sold out to Jalen Brunson. They brought three defenders over to him. And Jalen Brunson made the correct play. Kicking it out to a wide open Deuce McBride on the right wing, and Deuce couldn't get it to go. Um, I need an overtime ticker. I don't have, I'm going to say it's the fifth quarter, guys. <laughs> Hold on, and I don't have the five minute clock for overtime. <laughs> I'm going to let the time tick down here. Probably not going to get the five minutes, but here we go. Here we go. Jules said he's getting 70 or more. He's at 59 now, and the Spurs absolutely sold out. They said anybody but Brunson. They played the anybody but Brunson uh, defense. They said if, if Josh Hart's going to beat us, it's going to be Josh Hart. If McBride's going to beat us, it's going to be McBride. <clears throat> they did not leave Devin Shinzo because Devin Shinzo would have knocked that thing down. Um, but, you know, Deuce McBride, his first real minutes as a rotation player this season after the Ananobi trade that um, opened up the space after they traded Emmanuel quickly. Couldn't knock that one down here tonight. Zane, what's up, Zane? He might break Will Chamberlain's today on the 100 plus. Oh, man. What an, what an incredible game. What a fun, incredible game so far. 3GP Cardiac. The Cardiac Knicks striking again. Down 17 at halftime. Jalen Brunson putting his Superman cape on, scoring 59 points in regulation. We got five more minutes of basketball going to overtime. <clears throat> Big issue, though. No Isaiah Harnstein. He fouled out. Now, you guys know how much I love Mitchell Robinson. Hasn't had the greatest of nights. Um, still working his way back from the injury. But... Can he hold up here for five more minutes? Ooh, Tay said, Chefy, I'm gassed. I'm also gassed. I'm exhausted. <laughs> five more minutes of basketball, folks. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Here we go. Uh, Joe Long said, which Mitch's numbers? Uh, so far tonight, Mitchell Robinson off the bench. He has played 15 minutes. He's got four points and nine rebounds for Big Mitch. Uh, Isaiah Garner said, JB going to beat Melo's 62-point game. Only thing that would have been better is if this was done at home, <laughs> in the garden. Kenny, uh, reminding people to hit the like button. Yes, if you're in the stream right now and you have yet to hit the like button, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up button right below, right below the video. It really helps support the stream, really helps grow the channel. Thank you, guys. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We're so, so close. So, so close. It would be great if we could hit that mark, hit that milestone right before the playoffs start. Um, Tay said, K uh, JB quarterbacking this team. Absolutely. The Knicks win the tip, and here we go. I don't have the timer set up. Sorry, guys. This I, I didn't even consider the thought of what would happen if we ever went to overtime, but I'll let you guys know on the time. Jalen Brunson, crossover to his left, spins in the paint, pump fake, leans in, kicks it out. Josh Hart, right corner three. Come on, JB. Come on, Josh. We needed that one. Spurs bringing it down. Trey Jones. Throw it ahead to Wemby. Coming to his left. Step back. Puts up the three. Can't get that one to go. Josh Hart with the rebound. 
He's bringing it down. 4.30 to go in overtime. Josh Hart bringing it down tied at 121. Need the team to get the score. They get it in the Brunton on the left wing. Being guarded by Trey Jones. Brunson facing up. They bring a double team. Brunson inside the Josh Hart. Josh Hart going under the basket. Kicks it out to McBride. They swing it around. Even Chinzo straight away three. Way off. Fight for the rebound. Trey Jones has it. Hit a head pass. McBride stole it away. Deuce McBride. Don't try to hit the home run passes when Deuce McBride is down there. You're not going to get it through. Deuce McBride is a football player. Come on. Brunson has it up top over to Josh Hart. Back to Brunson. Brunson coming to his left off the Robinson screen. He's got some space coming down. All the way, leans in, lay up, can't get it to go, Weminyama. <clears throat> Tips it out away from Mitchell Robinson. Trey Jones bringing it down, leaves it off for Vassell. Vassell coming to his right, and a blocking foul on McBride. 3.43 left to go in overtime, three fouls on Deuce. <clears throat> we got a subscriber from Drippy Cheese. Appreciate you, Drippy Cheese. Welcome, 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 my guy. Hope you're having a good time. And Tom Thibodeau is going to challenge the call. Game tied at 121. Neither team yet to score. 343 left in overtime. Knicks fan said, if only it was against a better team, it would be embarrassing either way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Spurs are a pretty good team. They've been, I'm telling you guys, can't look at the record. Spurs have been a pretty, pretty good team after the All-Star break. <clears throat> you got to stop underestimating this team. They got some good players. They're just all really young. Really young. But they've gotten better as the season got, has gone on. And you see what Wemby's capable of. He's been great tonight. Not good. Great tonight. d said, tell LeBron this is how go plays. The ref's still looking at the play, still trying to... These charge blocking calls, always difficult. Interesting, interesting challenge from Tibbs because a charge and a block is so subjective from the refs. They could easily say McBride didn't have pos uh, defensive positioning. Let's see what the refs come out with. It's going to stand. Blocking foul induced McBride. I would personally never challenge a charge block call, ever. It's too subjective. Big Crim said timer is getting close. I know, I know. I never, it never even occurred to me what happened if the Knicks went into overtime. It never even occurred to me. I got to get something set up for that. <laughs> 3.43 left to go here in overtime. Tied at 121. Neither team has yet to score. <clears throat> so Trey Jones is going to inbound it. Gets it into Wemby. Wemby up top, hands it off to Jones. Jones coming to his left off the Wemby screen, throws up a floater, gets it to go down. Tough shot for Trey Jones. And the Spurs score the first basket, taking a two-point lead. Brunson bringing it down. Over to Josh Hart. Josh Hart hands it back off to Brunson. Brunson, they bring a double team. Out to Josh Hart, catches it, driving it down, throws it lot to Robinson, who can't guide it in. Not a good pass, and Mitchell Robinson comes up limping. And Trey Jones bringing it down, trying to push the pace. They throw it into Wemby. He's got two guys on him and a foul by DiVincenzo. <clears throat> they get it into Trey Jones. Trey Jones has it up top. Over to Vassell. Vassell coming to his right off the Trey Jones screen. He's got space. Attacking Robinson. Gets past Robinson. Lays it up. Can't get the layup to go. But Wemben Yama right there for the tip up and in. And the Spurs go up by four. Under three minutes to go. Brunson bringing it down. Over to Josh Hart. Back to Brunson. Brunson hesitation dribble. Step back. Pump fake. Good defense from Trey Jones. Not giving him airspace. Deem Chin on the right wing. Back to Brunson. Brunson on the right wing. Facing up against Jones. Brunson slide through. Step back. Corner three. Too strong. Robinson offensive rebound. Puts it up. Gets fouled by Wemby. So Robinson going to the foul line. Got to get at least one. We need two, Mitch. We need two. But got to get at least one here. Mm. 
Mitchell Robinson at the foul line. First free throw gets it to go. Big Mitch knocks down the first free throw. We got one more coming. Come on, Big Mitch. Come on, Big Mitch. 2.34 left in overtime. Mitchell Robinson this season shooting 38% from the foul line. Rattles in, can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. Champagne pulls it down, and Trey Jones will bring it down. 2.30 left to go. Trey Jones has it up top. Out to Keldon Johnson being guarded by Josh Hart. Keldon Johnson, cross-court pass. Trey Jones attacking out of the baseline. And Josh Hart comes up with the steal. And he's bringing it down. Leaves it off for JB. JB coming to his right. Leans in. Kicks it out to Josh Hart. They swing it around. McBride for three. Line me up. Comes off the front rim. Mitchell Robinson tips it up and in. And they're going to wave it off. Come on. And Tibbs already used this challenge. You can't challenge that. Let's see the replay here. I don't know. That looked like it was off. That looked like it was off to me on the replay. That's a bad call from the refs. They're going to show it from over the top. Nah, it was still on the rim. It was still on the rim. Two minutes to go. Under two minutes to go. Champagne has it up top being guarded by DiVincenzo. Over to Vassell. Vassell coming to his right off the Wemby screen. Kicks it in the corner to Keldon Johnson. And a travel on Keldon Johnson. Ball going back to the Knicks. It's a three-point game. 125-122. 150 to go here in overtime. There's still time left. Ooh, ultimate saying. What's up, ultimate saying? Let's go Spurs. <laughs> we got another Spurs fan. Spurs with a three-point lead, man. They're in, they're, in, they're in position to take this one from the Knicks. Jalen Brunson bringing it down, being guarded by Trey Jones. Brunson slowing down here, has yet to get past the 60-point mark. 140 left, Brunson crosses over, going to the basket, throws up a floater, off glass, gets it to go. 61 points for Jalen Brunson, count them. Trey Jones bringing it down. He's taking 45 shots tonight, Jalen Brunson. You'll love to see it. Trey Jones has it on the right wing, calling out of play. A lot of standing around for the Spurs right now, now they get it over to Wemby. Wemby has it up top, hands it off to Vassell. He's coming to his right, kicks it back out to Wemby, steps back for a three. Now puts it up, one dribble to his right, puts up the three, gets it to go down. Huge clutch shot from Victor Wembenyama. Gives the Spurs a four-point lead, 124-128. One minute to go. Brunson coming to his right off the McBride screen, now coming to his left, attacking Vassell. Scoop layup, high off glass, can't get it to go. Robinson tips, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, lays it up, gets it to go. There you go, Mitch. And he's still limping. Trey Jones bringing it down. Oof. I'm, I'm stressing, guys. Two-point game. Over to Wemby. Wemby has it up top. Ball poked away. Going to stay with the Spurs. 41 seconds to go, guys. We made it. Our timer has officially synced up. <laughs> 41 seconds. Oh, man. Zane, 60 piece for JB. It's going to be unfortunate if it comes in a loss, though. Nick's got to find a way to pull this one out. Timeout from the Spurs. 41 seconds left. <clears throat> they got to come up with a stop here, obviously. It's a one-possession game. Can't make it a two-possession game. Big crims. Timer caught up. Time for the Knicks. Time for the Knicks. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I got to come up with a way. And it says quarter number five. I mean, technically, it is the fifth quarter. Technically. What an incredible game this has turned out to be tonight. Thank you to everybody who showed up to the stream here tonight. Over 230 people so far. Shout out to everybody. <clears throat> Feel free to subscribe if you're, in, if you're enjoying the, the show. <laughs> we do every next game of every season. And then occasionally we'll branch out and do a couple of other teams, other games as well. But we never miss a Knicks game. Never. Big Tass said, Tibbs did not coach this game well. It was a bad challenge. It was a bad, bad challenge. Sixty-one points for Jalen Brunson. Forty-six field goal attempts for JB. He's been the only guy with a, with an active score so far tonight. Champagne gets it into Wemby. Wemby faces up, driving to his right, strips, falls. 
It's going to be a jump ball. Thirty-five seconds left. Ty said, "Get Robinson out of the game for who? They got seven, four women Yama and Ty <laughs> for who? You won six, eight pressures to chew out there. You got cooked in the first half. You got cooked, absolutely destroyed. Jump ball." A violation on Mitchell Robinson. They say he stole the tip. What an absolute horrendous call from the ref. What an absolute horrendous call from the official. You never call it in that situation. 34.7 seconds to go. They call it a jump ball violation. When both players are up there tipping at the ball and they call it on Mitchell Robinson. What an absolute horrendous call. And so the Spurs will get the ball back. Insane. Instead of just saying re-tip the ball. Insane. Spurs get it into Vassell. Vassell has it up top. 30 seconds to go coming to his left. Puts up the three. Way off. Fight for the rebound. Tipped out of bounds. They're going to say Nick's ball. Nick's going to get it back. 24 seconds to go. Down by two. They get it into Jalen Brunson. Whew. The shot clock is on, but there's only like a half second difference. So the Knicks should have the final shot here. Can Jalen Brunson win it for the Knicks or at least tie it? I forgot the restart timer. Brunson driving to his left. He gets fouled. Foul on the floor. Raymond. What's up, Raymond? <clears throat> oh, forgot to start the timer. 12.8 seconds to go. Tom Thibodeau is going to use his last time out here. 12.8 to go. Knicks down two. Are we going to have a double overtime situation here? Joe Long, freaking terrible. I, did, I, I, Some of these calls, man. First, the block charge. First, I would have called that a charge. To me, that's a charge. Offensive player goes right into the chest of the defensive player. To me, that's a charge. But you know what? The charge blocking call, so subjective. They called it a block. I would have moved on. Bad challenge from Tibbs. Doesn't matter. Even if I disagree with the call, it is what it is. Um, calling that a jump ball violation when both Robinson and Wembenyama were essentially going for the ball at the exact same time. So if Wembenyama won that tip first, would he have called the jump ball violation on Wemby? Absolute, like, you only call that if Mitchell Robinson is absolutely slapping at the ball well before Wemby because he stole the tip. He didn't. They were both, they both jumped and tipped at the ball at the exact same time. Horrific call from the official. Horrific call. Whew. At the end of the day, that call didn't matter because uh, the Spurs did not get the score and the Knicks get the ball back. They're still going to have the opportunity to win it here. Um... Or at least get into overtime. Whew. All right. They get it into Brunson. Brunson gets it into Achua. Achua hands it off to Brunson. Brunson coming to his right. Step back. Puts up the three over Trey Jones. Off the back rim. Long rebound. Achua offensive rebound. Kicks it out the demon. And he turns it over. He turns it over. Precious. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, Precious? Timeout from the Spurs and Greg Popovich. They used their last timeout. Jalen Brunson stepped back three, hit off the back rim. Good clean look. Couldn't knock it down. Knicks get the offensive rebound, and Precious Achua throws it out of bounds. Precious. Brother. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Uh, the Knicks had their opportunities. They had their opportunities. And Precious Achua throws it out of bounds. And it looks like the Knicks are going to end up losing. Three seconds to go. 3.1 Spurs ball. <clears throat> Trey Lewis, sixth quarter. 
Jose said he needed to go up with it. Or not jump. He went up, caught the rebound, and he looked like he was going to jump and put up like a floater. And then at the last second, kicked it out to a three-point shooter. You know, it, the ball went right in between McBride and DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo tried to save it, reached out for it, couldn't corral it. So the only opportunity the Knicks have right now is if they pull off a miracle and come up, come up with a steal in these three seconds and a basket because they don't have a timeout or they, they foul. Um, they, they split a pair of free throws and they go the length of the court and hit a three. It's not looking good for the Knicks. Opportunity is not really there. They get it into Trey Jones. Trey Jones gets fouled. <clears throat> 1.3 to go. Trey Jones going to the foul line. Oh, no. The Knicks had a foul to give. Knicks had a foul to give, so 1.3 to go. They're doing it again. They get it into Trey Jones and fouled by Brunson. 1.1 remaining. Trey Jones, 84% free throw shooter. The Knicks don't have a timeout. So one second to go. They're going to need him to miss this first one. And he doesn't. He knocks it down. <clears throat> so the Knicks would need a rebound and to just launch it and score. So this one is going to be over. Trey Jones knocks down two perfect free throws. Four-point game, and that's going to be it. McBride's going to inbound it. It's just going to launch it down the court. Wemenyama's going to pick it off, and that's going to be it. The San Antonio Spurs pick up a big clutch victory over the Knicks, 130-126. Disappointing loss for the Knicks. I don't care how you slice it. I don't care how you slice it. Uh, valiant effort. They played hard, but... They couldn't pull off the victory. I'm not going to lie. Big, huge, disappointing game. Ends up being the Victor Wembenyama game on a night where Jalen Brunson goes for 61. Victor Wembenyama ends up with 40 points, 20 rebounds, and 7 assists. Incredible game from Vic. Incredible. A career night for Victor Wembenyama. Was absolutely fantastic. Uh, from 3, he killed the Knicks. 4 for 9. 13 for 22 from the field. Um, wasn't the best officiated game. The Knicks ended with 12 free throws and the Spurs with 32. So 20-point free throw disparity. Uh, you can't say the Spurs drove it in more than the Knicks did, but Russell Field, a crummy start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raymond, um, free all day? Raymond, free, free all? Thank you, Raymond. Thank you. Appreciate you, my guy. Thank you, everybody, for showing out tonight on what ends up being a pretty disappointing night. Ends up being a pretty disappointing night. Karan Clark said, Tiz messed up not starting JB in the fourth. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, they started the fourth quarter. They were It was, what, a three-point game? And then it ballooned up to 12 quickly with no Jalen Brunson. I thought he took way too long. When he was on fire like that, you put him in the game, you have him play the whole fourth quarter, and you have him close it out. I get resting you guys, but Knicks can't take advantage on a night where Orlando loses. Cleveland ends up winning, so they retake the three seed. Uh, the Knicks are now a half game behind Cleveland yet again, tied in the loss column. Um, so it's not that bad, but now they're at 29 wins. Now they're uh, a game ahead of Orlando instead of two games ahead of Orlando. Um, ends up being a pretty disappointing night, right? <clears throat> you know, Harnstein picking up six fouls, not great. You know, got to stay in the game on nights like tonight. But, you know, a couple of a questionable calls, sure. But I don't think the officials decided the game. They definitely tried. <laughs> they definitely tried to decide the game. Um, but the Knicks had their opportunities, absolutely. And they couldn't pull this one out. Jalen Brunson, tired legs, um, was absolutely nuclear in that third quarter. And ran out of gas towards the end of the fourth. Couldn't make the requisite 
uh, plays to pull this one out. Joe Long, Harnstein not available in overtime is tough. Absolutely. Absolutely. Battling out Harnstein at the end of the fourth quarter there is, is not good. Not good. You know. Uh, and a couple of questionable, questionable calls on, on Harnstein um, guarding Wembenyama. You know, there was the one where he traveled, but they called the foul before the travel in the post. They said Harnstein grabbed him, I guess, on the hip, I guess, was the call. But, you know, like you're going to have questionable calls throughout the game. I don't think the refs cost the Knicks this game. They had their opportunities, and they couldn't, they couldn't cash out. <clears throat> Jason uh, Chavaria, a huge slap in the face for sure. Yeah. Uh, Tay, Chef, you see you Sunday. Yes, we will be back on Sunday when the Knicks go back home to take on the Oklahoma City Thunder, where hopefully, 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 we're all hoping, <laughs> OG Ananobi is back. Gotta remember, Knicks down two of their top three players between OG Ananobi and Julius Randle. Um, they had the opportunities to win tonight. They should have won tonight, but um, Victor Wembanyama has the game of his career so far. The first of many, a 40, 20, and 7 game for Victor Wembanyama was absolutely fantastic. Um, so shout out to Vic. He won the Spurs this game tonight. Uh, the Madrasi Travel Channel, appreciate you. Deflating loss to a bad team, 9 games left and still injury prone. Uh, yeah, Nick's still dealing with the injuries, obviously. Julius Randle is, is one thing, but you got to get OG Ananobi back, man. Got to get that guy back. Um, it's gonna, I'm going to be really disappointed in him if he can't make it back against the Thunder on Sunday. Uh, he's had more than, he's had over two weeks now. He went out um, after the Sacramento game. So we, he had uh, from Sunday to, to uh, uh, next Sunday against the Thunder, he's had since the 17th to the 31st. So two weeks exactly, he would have had off to rehab that elbow. Um, I will be really disappointed if he doesn't come out and play against the Thunder. <clears throat> so we will see. We will see. Uh, Joe Long, I'm sure some blocks. Yeah, I mean, we can go through his full box score just to highlight the night that Vic had. Shout out Victor Wembanyama. Uh, he did his thing, held his own tonight against Taylor Brunson for 61 points. Uh, Victor Wembanyama, uh, 20 point, uh, 40 points, 20 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 blocks. Uh, two steals and one block, four turnovers. Uh, he was a plus one on a night where they win by four. Trey Jones was a plus 13. Uh, Keldon Johnson was a plus 23. He killed the Knicks in that first half. As for the Knicks, Brunson was a plus 20. McBride was a minus five. Josh Hart was a plus 20. Hornstein was a plus 10. Achua was a minus 30. Just goes to show you the kind of night pressures that Chua had. He was not good tonight. He was not good tonight. Um, but I guess that's it. We're going to go back home, regroup, and we'll be back on Sunday when the Knicks take on uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder in what will be in a very, very, very tough game. So just want to shout out everybody who came out tonight. Uh, James Sumler was super generous earlier in the stream with a, with a super chat. Shout out James Sumler. Um, and I appreciate everybody who came out to support the stream tonight. Joe Long, Relic, Zane, uh, Jules, uh, Cap Top, Not Jose, Mark, Ron Clark, Trey Lewis, uh, the Madrasi uh, Travel Channel, uh, Tay, of course, Jason, uh, James Moon, Yvette, Big Task, Ty, Mark, uh, Big Crim, Susan, uh, Ty, Russell Field, everybody appreciate you guys. Um, Mark, Rishi Rich. <sighs> so that's going to be it. We'll sign off. Everybody get to bed. Everybody get to bed. We got a long day tomorrow. Uh, appreciate you guys. I'm out. I'll see you guys Sunday. Uh, I believe it's a 7.30 start time, but let's see. Sunday, 7 o'clock, so a little bit earlier. 7 o'clock start time on Sunday. I'll see you guys then. I'm out. Bye.